Our story begins with an odd setting placement, a troll who lived in his grandparents' basement. <laughs> Our antagonist was a dastardly creature who worshipped Kojima and loved Justin Bieber. Oh yeah! A good word is something he would say to none, and trolling the net was how he had fun. He tried to get famous, but it was no use. His playthroughs on YouTube had only two oh, views. Fuck. But an outlet for his anger he did not require, for a gamer called Phil received all his ire. I just don't get it. The hater exclaimed. How is it that DSP got so much fame? His jokes aren't funny, his gameplay is bad, and the majority of his playthroughs are sad. He doesn't respect the game devs or voice actors, and Hideo Kojima isn't his master. How dare he make playthroughs that aren't perfect runs? It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. Then the sad loser had an epiphany. I've got it. For Christmas, I'll end DSP. Instead of ignoring someone I don't like, I'll make shitting on him the goal of my life. So without a lick of good sense in his head, the shithead decided to troll Phil instead. He thumbed down the videos, oh, you bitch. in comments, he swore. He tried to make Phil's YouTube gig a big chore. He impersonated big game companies and contacted YouTube about Phil's series. He made DSP's content ID flag spike and bombarded him with false copyright strikes. Then the big blow in this hateful barrage. A 57 hour long, this is how you don't play montage. <laughs> You're a loser, Mr. Troll. You really are a dick. You spend all your time hating. You really make me sick, Mr. Troll. I'd suggest doing something creative, but you've got no talent. You're an asshole. Mr. Troll, you have no fucking life. You've never even kissed a girl, just give up on a wife, Mr. Troll. Some of the ugliest dudes have hot wives, but you're too busy trolling. Oh yeah, what a loser. <laughs> You're a douchebag, Mr. Troll. A coward through and through. If you said this shit to my face, can you guess what I'd do, Mr. Troll? If I had a chance of being filthy rich or going back in time to prevent your birth, fill up the DeLorean. You're a shithead, Mr. Troll. Why can't you just move on? When you are 45 years old, you'll still live with your mom, Mr. Troll. Speaking of your mom, tell her I'll be unavailable next week as I'm taking time off. Oh yeah, she still owes me for last night. Oh yeah! And so, after being relentlessly attacked, Phil settled down for a long winter's nap. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh! That's more like it! Oh ho ho ho! Thanks, DSP! Oh ho ho ho! <sighs> oh. 
first thing Christmas morning, what a wonderful sight. A pile of fan mail delivered that night. What the heck is that over there? What is that over there? Hmm. Looks like a stack of letters. Dear Phil, I've been a longtime viewer and fan of yours since your original Fallout 3 playthrough. Looking back at the past and remembering all the great times I shared with you throughout your playthroughs brings a smile to my face. Hmm. Dear DSP, thanks for all the years of fun that you've brought to me. Recently I was diagnosed with a disease and it looks like for a long time I'm going to be in the hospital. But your videos always let me laugh a little bit. Thanks for brightening up my day when otherwise there wasn't a lot to look forward to. Hey DSP, recently my girlfriend broke up with me and it's been pretty rough. I've never really felt this bad before, but then I opened up your YouTube channel, saw your latest playthrough, and it really cheered me up. Thanks so much for being there for me and giving me something to distract me from the negative times in my life. It's much appreciated. And so then the troll, that huge fucking jerk, went back onto YouTube to revel in his work. The hell? He exclaimed. This just can't be so. Phil's still playing games. There's new videos. He plays without thumbs up. He plays without fame. He plays despite montages mocking his game. And then the troll yelled out, incredibly confused. He plays without hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah, come on, get him. Ha ha ha, take that, you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, you soup! You know what? It's okay. It's Christmas. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Come on, bitches. Yeah. I'm gonna give you some. You want some, boy? I'll give you some. That's right. I know exactly what you want. Take some of this. Yeah. <laughs> According to legend, then some would say the troll's e penis shrunk three sizes that day. Oh fuck. <sighs> You know, sometimes gaming is just about fun, and then sharing all of that with everyone. Don't turn to hating or being a prick, because it's not funny. You'll just be a dick. <sighs> well, enough of this humbug. Let's end this right. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. In all seriousness, everyone, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to my viewers, my fans, and my haters. Peace out. Well, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna watch some stuff. It won't be a lot of stuff. So, uh, use this time wisely. I guess I should tell myself that. That's what I'm trying to do. But, we have a poll. What other years of DSP's Christmas Pass do you want to watch? 2014 and 15? I'm currently winning. That's probably because it's just the literal earliest one. Uh, 2016, 2017. Second place, 2017, 2018. Last place. And 2019, 2021. Is in whatever place it's in.
But we're gonna watch the guy, of course, put together his Christmas right, tree everybody. from 2012. The real fans know that I literally watched all of this anyway, like two fucking like two fucking Christmases ago. It's probably on archive channel still. That's why we named this the obligatory Christmas stream. Because uh, I'm trash. I wonder what I named it back then. You think Christmas is even in a title? Mm. Yeah, it's 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 somewhere. You know what? Maybe it's not an archive channel. It might be on my actual channel, like private it. Maybe. I mean, if anything, it's at least there. Speaking of the last stream, not. But what if it was? What if it was? Oh, well. big ups to the people out of here. Uh, free shout outs are banned today. I'm sorry. Everybody, welcome to the tree lighting for 2012. Yes. Yay! Every year, I put up my Christmas tree on camera. And talk about anything under the sun. And talk about lots of stuff. And we will this whole thing is basically stuff. him just ranting, though. Like, He's complaining about people. people. Yeah. Not a good idea. <laughs> and Pandalia agreeing right, with him. First thing we gotta do is get this out. Ugh, but, geez, you know, what if it wasn't? So but, yeah, it is. Well, and you covered it in 20 feet of tape. But you have to, or else it won't stick together because it's so compensated. You did this in 2011, oh, too, but yeah, I'm just gonna to pretend it didn't even happen, I guess. Clean up the tree. Try to get out of the condo. My dad gets a real tree every year. It's not that big of a deal. It would be different if I had a bigger place, but no way I can do that here. So that's the base. Oddly enough, 1.25 times speed. Careful, careful the wire. Don't work with this. I'm shocked. Uh, do you smell the fresh pine? She was so fucking annoying. Of course she was. I shouldn't even say that. She was really, really funny. Yeah, that's it. She was really funny when she made jokes about how it was a fake tree. You smell a fresh pine. <laughs> no, it's a fake tree. We can pretend it's real. My dad always got a real tree for Christmas. Well, yeah. bitch, maybe you should have got you something yeah. else for Christmas instead of a tree. You wouldn't be here. So. You got a new dad now. <laughs> yep, that's the middle. Got it? <laughs> uh -huh. This is the top. <laughs> Big ups. Ultra, Gamera, okay. and Roderick. You hear the perfect time. We're watching uh, two individuals put together a Christmas tree. That is the base, so. And they talk about the year. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I noticed it when they said. You get some relationship lore in this video. And we get sex jokes from Pandaly. Lefty Lucy and she turns it left and takes the screw out. No, I was trying to get a screw Oh, yeah, I got to fix this now. My poor OBS. It's gotten more unstable. Sexist Pandalee? She was 18 okay, after all. So now, as we bring down the branches, let's see here. There we go. Just be careful for the lights, honey. That's all. I know how to take down a fake tree. A fake tree. <laughs> they should just like real trees. Yeah, they do. A fake so tree. Don't smell good or look as good. This so, the same way DSP would act too. He would just shit on it the whole time he's fucking with it. Done. It's a fake all tree, of course. Yeah, it's not a real tree. The, as you see, it's not a real that tree. Before, that was actually before <laughs> this last year. Well, you know, this past year. Shut up. We're starting from January, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. This part. Actually, before the uh, this about the past year, and all the things that we've done, do they? Somewhat. They just don't smell good or look as good. So as we do this, we can reminisce about the past year, and all the things that we've done, and all the uh, like how we first met. All 
<laughs> and all the things that we've done, and all the uh, like how we first met. All I'm doing shots for a hundred dollars tonight. I don't want to get too drunk, you guys. Well, you know, this past. Well, no, that was actually before. Thank you for asking. That was actually before this last year. Well, no, that was actually before. That was actually before this last year. Well, you know, this past <laughs> year. Shut up. We're starting from January. Okay? When did you really meet, Vandaly? An interesting, a fun year dun, for me. Dun, dun. A whole new group of challenges and things to go up against this year. As always, every year, this will be my second year. Standing in front of the school. Gamer. Can I see your ID? And, uh, okay, how's it going? No, I'm tripping. Gamer. Obviously, we know. He met her on YouTube. So, uh, the first message, he replied and said, Can I see your ID? I forget how stupidly he talked about it in some video. Okay, now we do my job as the fluffer. Yes. I am the tree fluffer. She was 18, I promise. So started out this year as like you know pretty confident my second year of doing stuff on youtube and last Fucking year stupid bandolier ended really really strong for views and uh i was feeling pretty confident you know that i was at least gonna uh, allow this to go on for another yeah that was a porn years. joke the um, tree flapper and kind of decided i'm to the flapper at the end of last year because I said, her no, voice was peaking though and it's like she tried to sound different it's no way that was a real voice. Yeah, let's turn up the music. Let's not listen to you. Great idea by Pandaly. I forgot they even had music playing for this. Until they talked about it, then I noticed it. Look at him rocking. There we go, that's better. Oh and my so, god. You know, I wanted to do other stuff. I wanted to branch out, so I decided to do <sighs> some different things. Yeah, that's true. I wanted to do branches. I wanted to branch out. Um, and so the major things that I wanted to do in 2012 was an independent series that was different than... He wanted to be a shill. He wanted to go around to conventions set. and meet people and, and I shit. I also wanted to start attending um, yeah. you know, the convention scene. And get out there and start meeting and greeting with the this this shit that he literally say he never wanted to do by the way what he's about to talk about what he wanted to do in 2012 go out and meet and greet and rub elbows with people and make friends in the industry yeah, and all of that known out there in the convention scene so that Feels convention good, man. that could you know recruit new fans but also you know start to make meet the ones you have make friendly relationships with uh with businesses with things friendly relations you know, and that's how that's how a lot of the, how a lot of these people grow is they they get you know well known. You want it to be like Toby Turner. Uh, communities, and they have a whole secondary fan base. Sure, you have your initial online fan base, but you have this whole secondary fan base of people who travel to conventions and things to hang out and do that kind of stuff. So, okay. You know, fair first, enough. I, I understand very, what he's saying. With Project the Seven. secondary um, fan base. I, I don't think that, that's what that the is. The project started. But uh, whatever. Was pretty cool that we were able to go to Magfest and have a panel and show and show a screener of the uh, you know the trailer for it. They could have the camera no, zoomed in way more for this. Episode. That's right, because the first mm -hmm. episode was the pilot. God we damn it! Both. We had the whole episode. Like I'm pretty sure they never do anything the on this whole uh, quadrant of the video. And uh, that was really cool. I had so much fun doing that, and it was so different from. He's just humble bragging. Up to then, and. Uh, why the wouldn't he? Itself, it, it's funny because you still get the, the, the people who, no matter what you do, he is the guy. You know, they have to shit on you and you're saying, oh, the, the acting wasn't good and the writing wasn't good. And John Rambo was always the funniest person. And I was no mad about what. Rambo. Like, well, Rambo getting too much attention. Well, you have to understand that we all wrote the series. ESP's like, like, wait a minute. You, you saying I'm not funny? Jokes and things. And we all no, did. stupid. We all they were just saying Rambo series. was the That's most funny. DSP got all fucking mad. And to have people who are being dicks about it and being like, Maybe oh, we wrote it to make it funny for him. And what? Well, why are you mad about it then? Maybe you did. Why can't you just say if you did or not? He can't be factually true about something he literally worked on? Huh? Yeah, to some extent in a lot of them. I mean, he's wearing a rope and smoking a pipe or whatever. Yeah. These panda laughs. 
you know, but that we, that was intentional. We gave him the funny stuff. Me, I was supposed to be more of like the, the, the guy who keeps the series moving, the one who ever the guy focused around, you know, getting my powers back and all that. And then Howard was kind of there for comic relief in a lot of situations. So I really enjoyed doing it. And even though people still complain that the acting was bad or whatever, yeah, I think. It's I, not like you were trying to be like a big ups, Leo. I was. I mean, we're watching we're classic really moments like, from oh, BSP's yeah, Christmas yeah, Pass. Like when he put together a tree with Pandalee. The goal wasn't to make a TV show. The goal was to make a funny B B series. Come on, man! This is everybody's favorite Christmas moment. We could have put it on ABC. This isn't as good as such and such who does this and such and such who does that. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not making their style of show. Maybe they were intending for it to be serious. I'm not. This is no fringe. This is no Game of Thrones. Right. And keep in mind, we had no budget whatsoever. Like, it was just me out of my pocket buying things for us to work yeah, with. Yeah, the props. Like, remember, we went shopping together to get the ones for the Metal Gear Solid episode. Yes, we did. I remember doing that. I picked out the pants. <laughs> and, uh, and we had no professional writing. We had no time to even practice. It was literally just film the scene. Film as you go. And as long as it sounded good and, every, you know, it, it didn't... It was funny. <laughs> yeah, as long as it was seemed this... funny and it sounded, you know... They talked about Project 7 again. The right thing. That was pretty much, okay, it's good. Just go to the next scene because here we are, you know, skeleton crew. Like in the same set myself, of videos. John Rambo, Howard, okay. and then... We, we get a big path, reveal from Pandaly. And OJ was in the, the latter two episodes. I remember that. First, it was just the five of us. Or... Such a poozy. You know, I was kind of thinking about that. How many years has been since he did a Christmas tree thing? He used to do them every year. And of course, he said, oh, this is a tradition. I do it every year. And then he didn't do it. And then it stopped being a tradition. I thought DSP was the tra traditional guy. Or the, you know, doing everything, all the work. You know, the writing. Oh, yeah, he don't even have a tree now because of his cat. Of course. Yeah. And then the editing, yeah. the filming, the effects all came from respect to that. <sighs> so, Fair you enough. Know, for what it was, I was very pleased with the series. And the fact that in the four episode run that we had, that we were able to do as many views as we got. Something, we something, goals, something. He don't want to tempt his cat. Something, out. something. He naturally out. wants to uh -huh. jump right. on a tree. Yeah, Some right. fucking absolute I tomfoolery. I don't even want to pretend to care about it. But then he told us that Cat re like reorganized, redesigned or something. Basically, he told us Cat made downstairs a winter wonderland. Because I remember complaining about him not even taking a picture for Instagram. Not even that. So what the fuck? Cat put a bunch of little twinkly things on the wall. Wouldn't that still fuck with? Like, wouldn't the cat want to mess with that still? Because it's a thing. Cats literally mess with things. It don't matter what the fuck it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, and it's a shame. I mean, because I knew I. Oh, we're in a wonderland. So she put she I put almost, a bunch of shit on a wall, I guess. I but no tree. That it was going to happen, and the reason I say it was because here we are, a bunch of people who all have separate things outside of the series. Stop being lives, negative. You know, Andre and, and and Paul have full time jobs. You know, outside of that, that you know, not aren't even necessarily involving you know video editing and stuff. And, oh no, maybe know, we John, do get the reveal in the, in the first video. Right, John living in New York and having to, co to come down here to, to write with us and to film with us, that was, logistically, it was becoming a problem, uh, you know, to try to get that to come together the way that we needed it to come together every time we did one of these episodes. And I wish really he did was, retrospective four, streams we before Pandaly left. Right, we finally found a then we would have a stream of him watching this. Done. Just like, I know we're going to rush it, I know that we're going to cut corners, but we got to just get it done. And I think that oh shit you know, that that kind of see this is why I shouldn't have resized it led to the downfall of the series being that you, know, you just see them rocking we didn't have a business arrangement where it was like we're gonna film this day and this day it, there was no gonna... contracts it wasn't like a, it wasn't like making a movie right and that's the thing we had no it sets. wasn't a contract we had no sets on, by our, on our own we had no actors and people who we had to act our what do you mean we had no actors you, what so, were you it was again very bare bones okay dude just, we got, got it done and it's whatever you and say we homie done, we got done the way that we did it yeah. and uh they need a fucking john you know, stamos basically came out to the point where after we had filmed the <laughs> and wait a minute before, wasn't gaseous snake uh, literally an actor quote unquote out because they this dude so much, you know, holy entire full day of filming but then 
all the effects and everything that we wanted for that. He's episode. rocking it. Look for some more excuses. They really were being pushed because in their personal lives there were things with their work and their jobs and things that were giving demanding a lot more time than they had we didn't have real actors and for them to have spent to thousands on props on had an actual seven, real like actor one, quote unquote like the whole, had the whole people episode. edit the whole thing yeah, professionally yeah, quote unquote i really don't think people understand had it promoted by machinima editing is and probably like, oh, something else no nope. we still together. got excuses no, it takes he needed more help Oh shit. Things. Stuff's Especially gonna like just start these breaking now. Having the, the ghost from Pac-Man chase you, like they had to make sure that they were coming from the right angle for the right amount of time. It's just not easy. It's not easy. And I know because I used to do it very okay. amateurishly, but I used to do it. And there's still so many things with computers. No. You'll be encoding, crashes the fucking thing. Now you gotta start over. That's silly. Silly question. Or an effect doesn't render right. So I understand they did a shit ton of work on that series. And. For the fact that we did I will not down extrapolate and with my response arrangement saying you know oh you know you guys are gonna work like this and this and then yeah we're gonna get this out of the project no and you're gonna get that out of the project agreement. right so I think that ultimately what happened was probably going to happen regardless but what I was hoping would happen is that maybe after like the first year what what it ended before I could make I could have been discovered. Oh, you're talking about Project 7. Huh? I was even going to be in the horror episode. I know. Well, but actually, you said I couldn't be because of the time thing, but I would have made it. Last minute. Well, <laughs> it was just unfortunate the way that we had to end it because... It, it's on a cliffhanger. It's not even a It's a cliff, episode. right. There's no, there's no conclusion whatsoever. It's kind of just... trapped in horror land forever, Phil. Yeah, it's kind of just dangling out there. By the way, where is the cord for this thing? Here it is. So we have to... We have to plug it into the one down there somehow. Is there another cord down there besides that? That's it. I plugged the middle and the bottom together. You did? I think so. I don't know. I don't know what I did. You shouldn't let me do things. I didn't know you plugged. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yay. And then the top plugs into this one up here. See, I told you I'm an independent woman. I can do what I want. So, you know, it is what it is. Project 7 was a great series, but it basically came down to a point where it was taking too much out of the people involved in it to continue it in the way it was. And ultimately what I hoped would happen was that we would have gotten through a full year of it. And then after a full year of doing it, we would have been able to sit down and say, okay, here's Take now, now that, well, no, not even a break, but now that we know how well the series is going to do, let's sit down and discuss things like, all right, do we want to make a DVD? If we make a DVD, who's going to get a cut of what, you know, that ultimately we would have seen some profits and things out of it, but, you know, and it would have been worth it to dedicate that amount of time to it but I think what happened was people just got burnt out way before we got That's to that point because yeah. if we had gotten through the Halloween episode we were probably just going to do like a Christmas special which really wasn't even going to be like a canon episode it was going to be like just a, a Christmas special celebration yeah. with the characters in it from the series and the then based Christmas Yuletide Carol. and then this year it would have been you know kind of a, okay it's season 2 now and season two, we're going to do these episodes, but we're going to maybe go to conventions and advertise it here, and we're going to start selling DVDs for season one. And, you know, and it would have been a lot more organized, but I think it just never got to that point because we just got so burnt out and realized it was so much time to invest in it uh, to, to make the series succeed. So, uh, all right, so we'll be right back with uh, part two. Those are just my feelings on Project 7. I loved it. I love doing it. It's something that I am still interested in continuing in the future. But until I finally find people who like can dedicate time to it, maybe have a, a business relationship around it, you know, that we can dedicate that, okay, we're going to do this on a schedule like this and this and this, and we can be more professional about it, I don't think I, it's going to come back. So that's just my feelings. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I was muted on purpose. I didn't want to complain out loud. about how uninteresting my stream is and how thankful everybody is for it to ask me to just do something else through uh, Dollar Donuts. Alright, this is part two. If you missed the reveal, I don't know if they said it, but the reveal was that Panda Lee was going to be in Project 7. You knew that wasn't going to really happen though, even if it didn't get cancelled. DSP would have made up an excuse. The way he acted with this lady, I ain't going to even explain, but she wouldn't have been in it. 
And if she would have been in it, she would have ruined it. Obviously. But what if she didn't? All right, so, you know, Project we love was Bandler. one of the things that I did this year that really I enjoyed doing, but unfortunately didn't, you know, in the end it hasn't turned out well, even though it might come back at some point. But, uh... Yay, I can still be discovered by the Academy. <laughs> but there are some other cool things that happened this year. I mean, we got to attend MAGFest, we got to go to too many games and be a featured guest. I cast. got to go to too many games. Yes, and that was a lot of fun. Even, even, even though... I had just come back from E3 and my back was shot and really I was limited with what I could do at too many games. I still enjoyed it so much that... Uh, this dude said it like he's actually wheelchair bound. Close to it, elderly, or all of all of them. And he's just... Bro, he was like 31 or something? I don't know, man. You know what? You know what? You know what? His back was that bad. That's why he's I rocking so much. Yes, and that was I'm sorry, fun. DSP has even, such even, a bad back. Even though... I had just come back from E3 and my back was That's shot. That's why I had Rambo to carry his bags. At too many games, I still enjoyed it so much. What was Panda that, there for? Uh, she couldn't she even drive. She was actually up for nothing. I mean, just scamming people. They were so nice and gracious to us, and I even signed some stuff. Yep. Didn't even have a YouTube and channel. Uh, somebody had to sign something. Yet. It was great. It was, I mean, I can't say any anything. You know, I feel like a I'm huge fan. positive things about it. I'm a little disappointed, and I know a lot of people might not know about this because I haven't talked about it yet, but in 2013, Too Many Games is exactly the same week as E3. Oh, no, and somebody did something fault. stupid. That's, you know, E3 actually, for whatever reason, changed the date of their convention by one week. And so it staggered into when Too Many it's Games not their already fault. scheduled time yeah, off. Yeah, they, they said it. Remember they announced last day that they'll be doing the, the same week, Father's Day weekend, right. next year. So they already, week. too many games had already locked in, they already had the venue done, you know, and they were like, well, it's good, it's good, we're good, that's, we like this time, this is what we're going to do, and, uh, and then they got fucked over by E3, basically, and when I found out, Did I actually they? contacted too many games, and I said, listen, you know, this is a Too many games has E3 no announcements, and, go last year, and no fucking bitches, what, what, what are you talking about? was willing to send me. But, uh, it's, it's just a bunch of dweebs standing around. That's why DSP got invited to one and not the year. other. I'm like, I don't know if I can. How could I realistically huh? fly out to L.A. for the week, attend E3 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then be able to fly to Philly to do too many How could I fly a plane? Realistically, how could I take this plane from one place to another place within a week? Stuff that we've been selling. I wouldn't be able to bring that stuff. That would be after we'd have to rely How many on shows do you have to do? Himself and, and, you know, bring any kind of product. He's going on tour. I mean, logistically, a real tour. There, whether it's, you know, it's like Jay-Z. What am I going to do? I'll be, if I was there by myself, nobody would But no, care. I mean, if we went, if we yeah. went, you could get there, you know. Yeah, I could get there, no problem. You'd get, yeah, you'd be able to get there and hang out with us when we got but there. What but what if I'm at E3? Well, then you may be coming with us. I don't know. I know nothing about what's going to happen next year with E3 because Machinima literally oh, no. the last minute last this year. You're paid like, for I Panda to go to wherever she went to. Going to be an opportunity. And then all of a sudden I got an email from Didn't even have hey, a fucking E3. YouTube channel. Yeah. She was just like, there. Whoa, like, that's great. That's awesome. You want to go to Chip with me, Hattie? I was offered to go uh, as a part of a promotion for a game. But a also game. To, to we don't even want to say what game we were promoting. What game we pretended to promote. Um, I have no idea. Promotion like, for a game, game like a shill? Yeah. Huh? Uh, partner I was offered to go uh, as a part of a promotion. There was some game that fell off. To, nobody to played it. And do coverage of the, the con, and I really enjoyed that. Something with robots. Uh, I have no idea. A robot if it's game. If they're going to offer it again. Yeah, if it's even going to be a thing that they'll do. I have no idea, and there's no way to tell. So right now, E3 is a big question mark. Uh, you know, thank you, Machinima. No, really. If thank you. We're gonna be going, or if anyone can go. Okay, DSP was the most professional guy they had. I wonder how many other people they sent. Couldn't, couldn't get in. They paid for DSP uh, and all of his friends to go over there. The ticket in was because of Machinima. You can't just get a ticket to go. You can't just say, "Do you not know who I am?" You can try, but but they they actually review everyone who applies for a ticket. Are you saying I would be denied? If you just did it without anyone's backing, yes, you would be. Aww. So. I have the backing of the pandas. <laughs> so really, I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen with E3 this year, but that's the thing. 
if I can get into E3, obviously I want to go, and then it's going to be like, can I still go to too many games and go to E3? And so I feel bad because the staff of too many games has asked me, do we want to come back as a guest in 2013? And we would. The answer but... is yes, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It all depends on a lot of things. How's my back going to be during that during that time period? You definitely couldn't do both, and your back would be fine. Your is, back would be so messed up. Yeah. Is is there even a way for me to fly to L.A. and then fly out straight to Philly in time for whatever would be scheduled to do? You know, these are big burning questions. The other thing is, I ta I actually talked to uh to the staff of Too Many Games and told them about this fiasco, and I said, listen. Yeah. Nobody else told them about that. I'm sure. People that you have as big guests like the Angry Video Game Nerd. He goes to E3 every year. He covers E3 for Spike TV. So even he's Holy shit, he did. a problem going to E3 and getting back to Spike so TV. Everyone who is, who is interested in being a guest at this convention is getting screwed. Except Brenta Floss. Well, I don't know if he goes to E3 I don't think he does. What? I don't, I don't know. She name dropped somebody. Well, he can always host next year's Too Many Games. Oh, all right. Let's spread some of these out, then. I'm not good at spreading them. You said you were. Look at this. Don't all women say they're good at spreading? No. So, that's, that's my feelings. I loved going to E3. I loved too many games this year. But now I have no idea. And I do have a feeling of kind of uncertainty going into this new year uh, of whether or not I'm going to be able to attend both next year or either. And I'm a little disappointed at that, that E3 decided to change their dates for, by a whole week. Yeah, they kind of... I feel like he didn't go to either one. Fiasco. He did didn't do anything well, special in 2013, why, why right? Do Maybe he did, I don't know. Because, he always you know, doing something special. Best for that, that venue. And, you know, it just so happened they changed it by a week this year, and it's just a bad situation for people who yeah, wanted to Yeah, games got completely go. dicked. Well, they did, I, I agree. And, you know, they're up and coming. They've, they've only been around for a few years now. Yeah, and this yeah what happened to them, I wonder? Oh, they're not even the same as E3, but they're, but they're, they're going to be that way. Yeah, they're going to blow yeah. up eventually. So for them, I just don't know like about them. The new MAGFest. Like mag Too many games convention. It made them even cooler that DSP was invited. For people to attend as a guest, for someone who's involved with gaming, that's a big pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, you, Angry Video Game Nerd, was like one of their biggest guests. He was their biggest, and he was their main feature guest because he we lives in Philly. We were the Philly. biggest guests. No, we weren't. We had the smallest crowd, but they had the biggest heart. So. Oh, my God. See? Well, there you go. <laughs> that says it all. Yep. So, that's my feelings on the whole E3 Too Many Games situation, and I'm hoping that we can have somehow to find a... a a way to resolve it in 2013, but I honestly don't know how it's going to work out right now. Um, you know, this year was it was a, a year of firsts in a lot of ways. I mean, it was the Ups debut, the debut of Panda Lee in the videos. Amazing statement. And, you know, a lot of people unfortunately have uh, you know the they, debut they have reception for that kind of thing. Some people. Just what did she do for her debut? It was just me and my videos. And to have even though it wasn't always just you, let's be honest, you have had. You've done co-op with John, with Howard, with OJ, Correct. with some females, with people online. Females? But the majority of my videos are done Wait, solo. Wait, that's like you. And I've never really done a, a, you know, a mainstream thing where it was involved a, a, a girl or a woman. You know? <laughs> a girl so or a, a woman. You know? Oh my god, I don't like her, I don't like how she sounds. People like the Valentine's Day video, and then it went Oh yeah, this is going to be so yeah. fun. So, we'll just talk about this for a little while, it's a, it's how people a, don't like Pandaly. It's a double sword, Great. it's something we expected. Like, I knew that if... We yeah, I thought people would fucking with, hate you, honey. Yeah, ...that it could go either way. And I think in some cases, like with Tokyo Jungle, with Super Mario really Galaxy... Well. He's such a fence sitter. He expected it to go cases, wrong, a, but then... circumstance, like with It could go either way? There was nothing whatsoever that I could do. About her Nothing to get in. You could have locked me uh, in the bathroom like everyone suggested. Yeah, for 20 They were being hours, mad immature about this. The what I the could. fuck you mean for 20 hours? Is this, did he play the game for 20 hours straight? Dude, this is so fucking dumb. I, I think about this all the time. When he played Assassin's Creed 3, Panda Lee was stuck there because of a freak storm in his tiny condo. And instead of her, I don't know, not really fucking talking she was just fucking talking the whole time and i'm thinking to myself she could have not talked 
And he made it so offensive to suggest that she don't talk. What do you want me to do? Tell her to be quiet for the whole time when I'm playing the game? What does she do normally? Does she talk loudly to herself all the time? Maybe. But it's it's not that ridiculous, I think, to just be like, hey, uh, you could like watch a movie for a couple hours, listen to a fucking podcast, you could type something, play a game. You could literally do a bunch of other things. She could have played a game herself. But she had to yell like an actual ridiculous person the whole playthrough it was so fucking stupid i'm looking up it was so fucking stupid they were mad immature what's about up, it everyone dark side let's see let's see how long it takes for her to say something here and with me a special guest panda special Lee. guest special guest dude we loved her we couldn't wait to see her special guest me <laughs> Fucking cartoon character, man. This dude was gonna get married to it. You know what I mean? I mean, she evolved. She was like, uh, yeah, yeah. She she uh, evolved from Pandalee to Liana. He was gonna marry uh, an adult. Oh my god, I love how Phil deals with things. It's so straightforward. Love you, Phil. Love how Phil doesn't put up with anyone's bullshit and mad respect. Yeah, he deleted a lot of comments. So you're not even really going to find negative ones and people stop giving a fuck. So there's no comments really. Oh shit, this dude, DSP is awesome. I agree. Yo, she's here, not. Yay, she's here, not. I don't care less. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Fuck Panda Lee. What? I like Panda Lee and this is in no way insulting her. I just want to act like a dick real fast. Okay, something about computers. Fucking hate Panda Lee. God, Pandali is cancer in human form, lol. Okay, he didn't do it all negative comments. You guys don't be suck jerks. What if someone acted like that to you? True. She makes the video that little bit better. We got a real fan. This dude's like actually eight years old. I love Pandali's commentary. D. I don't care if someone is with you. Yep, he made it. What's up, everyone? Dar Holy shit, it's so loud. She is here because unfortunately, if you hadn't heard, Hurricane Sandy ravaged the northern, uh, northeastern coast of the United States this week, knocking out power, ripping trees out of the ground, uh, completely disrupting train, bus, flight schedules. And unfortunately, you know, she was visiting me last weekend, and she was supposed to go home on Monday, but all trains have been canceled. They've now resumed, however... Everyone basically who had booked and missed their trains for those he days. He also could have just waited a couple of days to play the game. Yesterday. So the first available train to avoid to anything. Is but no, he needed to make the money. So what that means is that she'll be joining me here for the Assassin's Creed 3 single player campaign playthrough. Yes, so single player. player. Right. Because she likes Assassin's Creed. She's going to sit there and now, talk about nothing. Because everyone knows me. If you have a problem with this, there's a little X up here somewhere in the corner of your screen. Click it now and don't fucking come back. Because if I it's see like, it, you don't even have the chance to be negative. He's going to get negative first. And then if you stick around anyway, Pandalee's going to make you get negative. And then you post the comment to say, fuck Pandalee. Anyone leaving ridiculous <laughs> comments about, oh, I hate Pandalee. I hate Pandalee. Play through, blah, blah, blah. Listen, this is real life. This isn't fantasy land. And not everything is perfect. Yes. For big releases like this, typically I'd play them alone. And I know like, people love that. This dude how, acted like he was in a fucking prison cell. Like this he couldn't avoid someone being actually obnoxious during the playthrough. She to had to talk. United States in the history of the world. Sure. Okay. What? You know, if Pandalee needed to fucking talk so goddamn much back in 20, uh, well, I mean, this was 10 years ago. I guess she grew up a lot now. She don't never fucking need to talk. She deleted her channel and she's never going to stream Where again. Documented weather. She and, lost uh, the voice. There's nothing we can do about it. Leanna's she needed to talk so much back then, though. For I'm not she gonna lost the voice, though. Room. Feels bad. I'm not gonna tell lock her in another room. Quiet. Like a little, like a little child. That's absolutely like a child. So if that's what you're looking for. Man, talk it shit. ain't that deep. It ain't that. Yeah, it ain't even that mean here. to suggest okay. that, in my opinion. It's literally his job at this point, and he made a lot of money doing it. With some straight off of you, straight off of you. You, know, you want to have fun and enjoy something entertaining. Honey, uh, could you around. like watch a movie okay, for a you're, couple you're hours? Welcome to be here. 
But I'm going to tell you right I gotta now, get this front, playthrough out. People who are starting even nasty fucking comments <laughs> about it. You just completely, immediately simped out. You're going to get ridiculed like, publicly. Like, immediately. You, and you're never coming back. I will not unblock oh, you man, ever. Man, man. So, saying that up front, right here, first thing in part one. He was just defending his girlfriend, bullshit. dude. If I see negative, Calls everybody sexist. Wrong. That's simple. DSP isn't so sexist, that's right? Front, Let's go right, right. ahead and let's start mm -mm. Assassin's Creed. He surely wasn't 10 years just ago to, either, right? Just to let everyone know, we've yep. already entered. Bro, we call themselves sexist so from 10 years ago. We've already entered the code to unlock the special sawtooth sword uh. and the Amazonian map. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I could have sat in there and read a book. Yeah, you could have sat in there and read a fucking you book. Realistic, you could have went on a computer for five hours. You probably do that anyway okay. when you're at home. You don't like Leanna's commentary. Holy. That's fine. Yeah. Then you don't have and then he talk about 20 hours straight. Well, that's irresponsible to play for 20 hours straight when your girlfriend over there, maybe. Couldn't even meet her halfway? We're talking about being mature, though. Was it mature for her to fucking yell in the background of the whole playthrough? Realistically, was that mature? And for him to call people sexist for not liking it? She actually provided nothing. If you fucking bought a DVD, we're gonna call it like... Like, we can actually make up complete bullshit and just say a different thing totally. If you bought a DVD, you put the DVD in, you're watching Superman Returns. I don't know if that's a real movie. And then you just got some dude in the background, Tyrone in the background. He like, man, this shit funny as fuck. Act, 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 act. Well, realistically, this is unrealistic because Superman would have died. Uh, but he didn't die because he only died a kryptonite. Was a situation that Dude, you would hate the DVD and call Tyrone a fucking idiot. Didn't plan for it. That was completely <laughs> un, plan, un, unheard of. That we had a, a super <laughs> hurricane, a super storm. It was originally you just basically bought a bootleg movie. You know what? We got a bootleg DSP playthrough. We just had some strange voice floating in the background yelling about stuff. <laughs> yeah, and it was Pandaly. We're leaving on Monday. <laughs> and you got stuck here, and it's like, well, it's either we're going to do co-op commentary for the time that you're here. Co-op commentary! Just, not doing it was a single-player game. Was, I'm not going to not do these games. Yeah, that would be oh, really man. To not do. Right. Man, man, so, man. So, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's funny because the views on the playthrough are great. Oh, yeah, I bet. It's because it was a brand new shit. fucking game. Thumbs down, negative comments, but the views are great. Uh -huh. It's like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm better off and happy that I played it. And I yeah. enjoyed it. I well, not much money, man. You enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that. Ten that's years ago, brand new game, Assassin's doing, Creed and, uh, 3, before the I series really got milked. Oh, awesome. man. And some people also Bro, you probably made enough to buy change. like five five trips, five Pandaly trips and after that. Stay the same forever. That's stagnation. That could be boring. Yeah. More train be, tickets. You, know, you want to have some variety. And I'm not saying by any means, and I've said this before, <laughs> I'm not changing the way I make my videos. <laughs> I like how he's talking about how he, Reed, DSP, could fly basically a fucking coast to coast if he wanted to, more or less. But he have his beautiful new uh, cool girlfriend coming to visit him, and she takes a train. Why wouldn't she take in a private jet? What the fuck? Leanna will not be in every video that I make mm -hmm. if we ever were to say move in together or whatever. I mean, entire uh -oh. about it. All right, we're going to do our separate, our own separate stuff. That's not going to happen. But, uh -oh. you know, people are just so terrified of the, oh, the original DSP. Oh, the original we'll DSP. Well, yeah, he's know. dead now. Or there he will tell be us he's dead, too, and he call him sexist. But then you go there back. Will, there will be oh, shit. Or there, there will be some change. Your channel and you'll have to get a real job. There, Don't will, say there that. will be some change over time, but it's not going to be everything. There'll be maybe certain planned playthroughs that we do together or for we'll Nicole. Make our own series together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different stuff. What the fuck are you mean, talking about? You know, me maybe you'll have, have to get a real job, Pandaly. Act, 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 act. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. You fucking clown. She thought she was going to be a housewife to a dude that never wanted to have kids for the rest of her life. Yeah, what? If you're not listening, Maybe. If you don't like that she person, could at least you don't have to watch all the things that they're in. Yeah, or mute the video. Yeah. Or so, mute the video. I mean, that's, just, that's just the bottom line. I hate Pandaly. I'm going to watch this solid playthrough play with but bad gameplay. It'll be stuff that I pre-announce. At least listen really to him complain. more super storms coming and hitting us anytime soon. So I don't I think she'll be... Not. I doubt yeah. she'll be stuck here for any major upcoming games that people want to see me play by myself. And that's that. So... Alright, so it looks like we've almost filled out the entire tree. 
So in the next video, it's like Panda Lee uh, sucks. First, if you think so, you're sexist. But simultaneously, we think she sucks as well. So we don't really situation. want this to happen again. Garland's all messed up. We have to look at that. <laughs> and we'll see what we can do with that. And then we will move on to the ornaments. So we will be right back. Oh, man. Okay. She got to get the she last the word there. in yeah. on every video she's right. ever in. Every fucking video she's ever in. Big ups, Andy. You heard the perfect time. This is a mini stream visiting DSP's Christmas Pass. And we're in 2012. Him and uh, him and his family. It's a family event. Who else can we hate on in this video? Let me address something else right quick. All these fake ass gamers. These fucking clowns, like Toby Turner, and I just think the fucking shills. They just do it for money. I don't. I do it because I love it. I love the game, and I love being a gamer. Oh, Phil, you're only doing it for the money. You're only wobbling because you have a bad back. Your girlfriend's under 18. And I don't know why people are so fucking stupid, blah, 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 blah yada, yada, yada. Keep in mind, these are fucking idiots, right? They're probably living in fucking parents' basement. They don't even have any fucking brain matter in their fucking head. <laughs> they never made a dime doing it. It's such a lame thing to bring up. Oh my god. Dude. First of all, like... No, 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 hold on, hold on. Am I hearing some shit? That was my phone. Okay, I thought I was hearing some, some scary shit. I got confused. First of all, just about everyone ever, except actual fucking industry plants, I would assume, have done whatever they do. They've done it at least a little bit for free. Maybe they've done it their whole life for free. And that shit only got any value after they fucking died. You don't see... Lil Wayne, for instance, I don't know, saying, yeah, man, when I first started doing this shit, uh, man, you know, I was doing this shit. I wasn't making any money. Bro, he would be talking about when he was like seven years old or something. And then literally he did it for free and did it and didn't make any money because he couldn't make any money. You factually couldn't upload gaming footage and make money off it. It was literally... It wasn't literally, but it was illegal. It was basically against TOS on YouTube. But he brags about it. And that's why he made his fucking vlog channel because he wanted to make money eating burgers. And he told people, yo, I'm not making money playing these games. So go watch me eat these fucking burgers. That's why them goddamn old ass dumb burger eating videos got so much fucking views. It was literally him grinching. Literally. Video games, I love literally. Games. I love Oh, but he did it for free because he loved games and loved the culture. Well, why the fuck you never learned how to play Metal Gear Solid 2? Why you never learn how to play Metal Gear Solid 3? How the king of gaming 40 years old and never learn how to play Metal Gear Solid 3? Playing them, I love sharing those experiences with other people. <laughs> he I, I loves sharing. About oh, he's like sharing, all right. He's such when a fucking sharing Magic guy. He just wants out. to share. I was actually disappointed because when I beat the game, I was like, wow, that was an amazing game. Let's talk about Mass really, Effect you know, right I, quick. A great ending, great story, but I wish I'm a real gamer. I know what Mass Effect I is. By myself. Mm -hmm. But then I played then fucking Metal Gear kind of Solid and the trolls got bad at me. Use that to share experiences with people <laughs> and do stuff. It was like, wow, this is great. I love this gaming, so dude. I, I can play a game, but I can share all the fun I'm having and all my jokes and everything that I typically do when I play a game with other people. Oh, yeah, jokes. And that's like a like saying a dev should go die in a fire and calling them hateful slurs. Money doing it as well, which is like kind <laughs> now of wait a minute. If you say way less about DSP in a video making fun of DSP, which according to him, his let's play videos are him just making fun of a game. You know, it's him talking shit. It's like you should get sent to jail. You should get sent to jail. Right now. DSP do it. He's living a dream. And that was, God that's another damn it, man. point too. I never planned on doing this full time. You know, like it wasn't something that I ever planned. It was a and of course he didn't want to do it anyway. Because of the bad economy, losing oh, my, my job, lord. 
and then having to find something else that I could do to make yeah. money. You know, because why does he no do this to us? My job sector. There Why does he do this to us? There are no jobs in the area that I was employed, and my dad got laid off from the same sector. So it's like, you know, no one in Connecticut. What a positive discussion on this third Christmas video. I'm pretty sure this whole thing was him being mostly negative. This kind of remind me of that cat introduction video when he talk about. I don't know, man. He basically talk about like how views are low, or how he don't make a lot of money or something stupid. And she makes a sad face and looks down a little bit. It's like that. It's the same vibe. To the point where it's he made Panda wait a few months, though. Um, and I'm very but don't worry, it's working out. Oh, we also get a... I'm spoiling a bunch of this stuff. We also get a fun little part where he tell us he can't be jealous of other people because he make a living doing what he's doing. He straight up says this. I can't be jealous because, like, I'm making a living doing this, man. How could I be jealous of other people? And then, of course, we fast forward to now, and he's like, Of course I'm jealous. Of course I'm jealous of PewDiePie. He makes a bunch of money doing this. Why wouldn't I be jealous? And to tell me the only reason I'm playing, you know, a lot of what video happened? games... He's literally in a nicer house. He's got a hot wife I mean, that's and a posture. cool kid. First of all, some of the games I play... Why would he be jealous of some so fucking days, Swedish dude? Days, and I don't make any a money. racist you know, Swedish I'm guy. Up on the games as well. <laughs> so, for me to say, yeah, I'm sure maybe, that maybe not that's why dudes be jealous of him. You know, dun, that, dun dun dun. Uh, what was that, that Japanese oh, game? So DSP so don't yeah, want to talk about that game. You probably liked it. Oh, because he played it with John Rambo. That's why. Blades of Time. Called out. I got so much shit for it. Why are you playing this shitty game? Called Stop out. Stop playing this game immediately. Go play something else that we demand you play immediately. Don't this literally sound like, like DSP in 2022? Like, you have to get something It's straight. basically the same I fucking shit. I am very grateful for the views that I get. And he's gaslighting. For the money that but, to be fair, it was actually say people saying money. stuff, at least back now, then. When I play games on YouTube, now it's Jay incorrectly asking him about fucking Scooby-Doo. It's preposterous. First of all, you think Jay demanded anything? Life, and if I choose to play one thing or the other, maybe it's your the email and DSP bonuses. It, but you have no right to DSP. Do you play champions? <laughs> like that is such a uh, elitist. <laughs> okay, if you want me to, Jay. Radish kind of a mentality to have. <laughs> you I demanded funny, I play I this. What you tell me. Naturally, he Are you gonna help me hit the members' goal? Is that what video, you're saying? Like, he wants you to enjoy the game. <laughs> Fuck so you, Jay. You didn't gift any members, you bitch. It's, it's like okay. We don't need you anyway. Oh, is he doing it for himself? Oh, my lord. So Look at her. She's heavy defending him. She acting like, like she noticed, dude. He's doing this for himself, too. Well, and here's the thing. Like, a game like Blades of Time. Okay, was it a great game? No. Was it a bad game? Actually, no. It was a Mixed bag. game. But a lot of people complained and didn't watch it. And, uh... It probably got like a hundred oh, extra views because of this segment. A game like that, if I just played all AAA titles all year, I wouldn't have any frame of reference. And you know, you I wouldn't have you wouldn't have half the playthroughs you have. Well, I'm not. Ta that doesn't matter. What I'm talking about is I need to educate myself on what's out there. I need to educate myself on the games that are coming out during the year. And if I don't play the bad ones, along yeah. What with if Emil ones, asked I DSP to play WWE Champions on stream? How would he respond? Like the actual real Emil. Is they don't or play Team Michael Gamer. enough games to have an accurate scoring system. They just play Based on, oh, I like we like already know. I don't even know why I'm asking. Wait a minute. Did you play this one? This guy lost his mind. I had to ban him. Did you play the prequel, the sequel? He's going to be like Tut. How can you tell me that Halo 4 is a 9.8 <laughs> and Assassin's Creed 3 is a 9.2? One of the bots. They, but they become, uh, games, and you didn't I don't even know the term, when a fucking robot game. just so grows like a brain, basically, so but not really, it. it's gonna do that, that's a meal. He's gonna watch Secret Life videos. Is Sentient it? Titles, it might be Sentient. I'm gonna go to that. You're gonna become Sentient and start saying hateful slurs? And ask DSP to play champions. I don't know what this guy is going on about, man. I think Emil has lost his mind today. I'm sorry, Emil. He's going to lean over. You're going to hear a loud tap. If you want to get unbanned, you're going to have to email me or something, man. 
But I don't know what you're you going know, on so about. Call me a sellout and tell me I'm only playing games to make money. Oh, whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa. You know, sell out and tell me I'm. We just double around. We double down on the game. We back. It's like ridiculous. This is, you know, you want it's like he just told us and he's telling us again. I don't hear that anymore, and the reason is because. Oh yeah, we're gonna shit on everybody else. Toby Turner and I just think. Toby Turner starts becoming the biggest gaming channel on YouTube, and now everyone all of a sudden stops bugging me about it and gets. They started calling somebody else greedy, and then DSP decide to join them. What a cool guy. Did some gaming related videos, but had nothing to do but with gameplay. Game. Right. Legit, that's what didn't happened. Didn't review them, didn't play them, didn't do uh, demos of them, I don't know. What a never fucking asked, cool guy. Did ask him for it, but he never He's straight up pointing out that some of the hate he used to get got deflected off of him and went to Tobuscus instead. But he was shitting on him too. I don't know. DSP is a really good person. He's a cool guy, even. To partner gaming channels, and then all of a sudden, when it's possible, and I just think just like caught stray bullets. She deserved it. I wonder it. if that's what people were talking about when they were trying to call me a sellout. Because really, that's what it is. You do it for the money. You're not doing it for the enjoyment. You're not doing it, you know, to be genuine about it and to be serious about it and to even take it seriously. Let's be honest. What games DSP serious. took serious? He does it. He plays them. He fucking sucks ass. Back then them. and since and, then. Uh, Street Fighter fucking four? He just fails repeatedly. Maybe. And it's the same and thing. Not even five. Oh, look at me! I suck so bad. Isn't this great? Like, right. subscribe, favorite. Now hold on. Hold on. And uh. Ek, he doesn't ek, try ek, to ek, get good at them. He just fails repeatedly, and it's the same and thing. And it's like, ha ha ha! Look at me! I suck so bad. Isn't this great? Like, right. subscribe, favorite. And it's like, give me a break. Why do you think <laughs> that fucking shows like Honey Boo Boo are getting such high ratings? Because you're looking at train wrecks. You're looking at people who. Isn't it life, ironic? But people are making them celebrities. And that's the kind of thing that irks me. Is there's legitimate people out there trying to do well and do things to entertain. And, do, and then you got people who just fuck around, you know, being complete train wrecks. And people are liking it. And people are, are rewarding these people. Like hmm. the Jersey Shore. Why do they exist? The Jersey Shore. They don't exist anymore. And DSP still exists. Wait a minute. When you do good at a game, Phil, you don't The longest lasting for. train wreck ever. Really Eventually, you at least run out of gas. The trains have gas, coal? You're gonna run out of fuel. Nah, DSP got a fucking solar power train with three batteries. All of them last 36 hours. We never run out of pimp. Literally, never. Whoa, hateful slurs. Heck, 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 heck. It's not hateful to call someone a sissy. It's the truth. The thing, you can't call the and truth the hateful. Like the <laughs> and then he showed you know a pride. Thing, you know, you the pride allied slot after that. Yeah, DSP never became a bandwagoner. I could actually turn the volume down on these videos. It's kind of wild. Oh, we well, hate video games. Isn't anything about it. I know, but still. Like, BSP's well, like, how could he, he hate video games? He don't know enough. He's not intelligent True. enough to talk. He's not informed enough to talk about games. Yeah. Yeah. Yet he's the one who gets hired by EA to, to sell their games. He's the one who gets hired. Maybe because they want to hire an idiot to, to sell fucking right Madden. Right Maybe that's it, DSP. Do you want to get hired to sell Madden? Did DSP want the job? But you know, in a way, it's like we want some. He did, but he wouldn't admit to it. Why does she get name dropped by Pandaly? Whoa, sexism? Portal. And then we have my favorite person in the world, I just seen. And then a nice burp. Ten hours of Portal, not knowing how to play it. Hmm. Y'all think down. DSP knew how to play Portal when he played it? Oh uh, no. Oh man, I'm gonna assume he didn't play Portal by the end of 2012. But holy cow, Pandaly. Portal. And it's, and, you know, I, by no means do I want anyone to think that my feelings are because I'm jealous. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is I'm it. Listen doing, to this. I'm Listen to this. This well is great. For myself anyway. So I can't say that I'm jealous. I mean, I, if I were doing bad. Or Dude, poor, I factually can't be jealous because I'm doing good. Duh, stupid. Maybe if I was poor and like in the fucking gutter, you know, 
and I had no clothes, and I had a bottle of gin in one hand, and a broken phone from 20 years ago in the other hand. You know, maybe, you know, when I was unshaven, you know, like maybe then I could be jealous, right? But as of now, I don't think I'm jealous. Poorly, then I could say, I'm, okay, I'm jealous these people are making money and they can do it, but I'm already making a living doing it. I'm just How can I be jealous? These people I'm making a bag. Oh, they're the best thing, but then they have the, the, the fucking gall to call me a oh, seller. Man. Yeah. When you have people blatantly out there doing it just for money and doing a poor job of it. Jealous. So that's why I'm, How am I jealous? That's my feeling on it. I that's make $100,000 a I'm month doing this. Thing. I'm number one in my sector, baby. What makes me nuts is the people that do this have 20 channels all partnered. Oh, yeah? Not all of your channels are partnered. You have a lot of them, but like only three <laughs> He wished he had 20 Meanwhile, channels partnered, dumbass. He was working on it. Games, I just seen plays oh, Pandalee. She's basically calling DSP out right there. Dude, how many channels DSP had? And all of them he had were partnered when he used them. You fucking buffoon. At least once you got, once you got with Machinima. Red Dead DSP, DSP Final Fantasy 13, DSP fucking Final Fantasy 13. What an amazing channel. DSP Street okay, Fighter, I think it's time to start looking DSP at, uh, Gaming itself, at King point. of Have Logs, uh, KO Gaming 1. All of those are partner when he used them. Sure it might be more. Yeah, man. Apparently a fake fan. My favorite is the Final yeah. Fantasy one being stolen from him. Oh, and then it just got used to play soccer videos. Live soccer, and then they got banned. So we got lots of ornaments. <laughs> and it just never came back. He was like, ah, fuck that playthrough. I might upload it if a lot of people ask for it. Uh, maybe I'll play it again if you guys want to see it. Why would you play it again? And just make fun of it for like 40 hours? Uh, that's basically all he would do. What? I don't know what Panda tried to tell us right there. That's not the fun way, but, but he was scared of getting copyright strikes from certain companies, so he would have a channel dedicated to it. And then, his other excuse was, well, I make a lot of Street Fighter videos, so I gotta have a separate channel for Street Fighter videos so my fans that sub to my main channel don't complain. So yeah, it was everybody else's fault. He made all of those channels totally. And it wasn't greed. And then he stopped using DSP Street Fighter when uh, Machinima told him they wouldn't pay him the same amount on both channels. So he was like, well, fuck it, I'll upload everything on my main channel again. So it was greed that made him stop using all the channels, and it was greed that made him start using all the channels. How exciting. DSP isn't greedy, and he doesn't do this for money. He just changes everything based on money. Every time. A lot of time. people criticizing me, saying that I should do direct capture like everybody else. There we go. That Didn't he do it by the end of 2013? He legit did. Because I think people are, a lot of people are, he legit are starting did. to get a little bit burnt Within out. Within 12 on. months of this. So really what are we going to say? And there are a few places. Or maybe we switched to it by now. Best. Like they said, Diablo 3 on the PC. Well, that's just because the, the text P-ry. is so fucking small yeah. on PC that you can't oh. read it. Yeah, PC games look way better with direct capture. You know, I, I, oh, he don't want to agree. I apologize, but how can I help that? You know, it's not my fault. You could help it by buying something like, because like it. you make a lot of money doing it. Have an option to do it at a higher resolution. <laughs> no. So it's more. Of I want to record it the way I want to record it. Else, but people say, oh, it's a flaw of the game the maker, dude. It's a flaw of the game maker that the text is too small when he aim his actual camera. His camera at his TV. Playing PC games. It's a flaw of the game dev. Now that is something. And uh, it's your fault for doing uh, a camera. That's something else. And, uh, you know, everyone else who played the game, you could read the text fully, and we couldn't see anything. Big ups, nerdy guy. Sailor, this is not you know, a restream. I'll be honest, if you're watching my, my playthroughs for graphics, maybe you should watch some You wish DSP would stream yeah, on yeah, Christmas. He would just talk about how it's Christmas graphics. the whole time. Yeah, you know what? 720p. I don't... I just thought about it. 
we had to deal we all had to deal with it individually we had to deal with the obnoxiousness and chillness and amazingness of dsp talking about christmas every day since before thanksgiving every single day he had a microphone in front of his fucking mouth he talked about christmas counted down to christmas merry christmas Happy Christmas, you make him mad. He says, Merry Christmas. Bah humbug, you scrunches, you grinches. And he don't even stream Christmas Eve night because he wants to hang out with his family. And he don't stream at all on Christmas Day because he wants to hang out with his family. Yo. That's fucking sweet. I don't record at 480p <sighs> because YouTube downgrades my videos to the point where they look like 720p when I record in that. How that fucking quality. exciting. Some of our videos look really good. Why does he stream on his birthday? He was born on that day. And, uh, Maybe he'll not stream on his birthday you know, one day. I can't control them when you're recording. And then they'll talk about that for a month before it happened too. Limited to what the cameras gonna do. There's unforeseen events. That's kind of annoying, though. Like, to hype up a holiday that much and actually not do anything on it. For real. You don't even post a picture to Instagram. You know, Howard knocking the camera. That was great, but that you wouldn't have seen that. And then he already told us what he bought Kent. You just saw the, fit, the, the footage continue, and you would have been very confused at what was going on. Oh, we can figure out what Derek got for Christmas. Oh, yeah, this could be my interaction segment. What did you guys get for Christmas? So, I, I guess it's like I said earlier. I mean, I understand if people... Look I wish I got some like lean. I did not. quality graphic, and they're a little disappointed that over the years I haven't upgraded my methods, but... I guess we get to hear what DSP you know, got himself. What do, no, what Cat got yeah, him, you know what I mean? He didn't tell us that. My guns, and I'm still doing it the same way, and they have a quality Pizza, a bone, money. That's Nothing. Consistent and not changing. You got the love oh, and appreciation of everybody around you. Even if you think you got nothing. Act, 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 act. That that would be something I'd be looking to do. Right now, realistically, I cannot do direct capture. It's just not possible. You have too many wires going through your condo. Okay, we didn't have direct capture by this point. And Pandalee doubling down and helping him cope. You will have too many wires. Okay. Guess who have too many wires now? He do. I have to totally redo my setup, and there's no reason to redo my setup when I'm going to possibly be moving. Bayonetta 3 Special Edition and some clothes. Don't have too much fun. Make sure you learn how to play the game. You have to like pay extra attention to tell what this lady's saying sometimes. A back turn plus the voice is just too much. I want to talk about about the negatives before we move on to. I want to talk about I want to talk about the gaming year in general as well. I have a lot to say about it. Oh boy. The last thing I want to mention is people who complain about co-op and my co-op partners. And oh, such, boy. Okay? Mm. Let me put it this way. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> you got stuck on the garland. I'm caught in the garland. Um, no matter what I did co-op... It's only year, about one person, complained. basically. If I did it with John Rambo... Who complained? Uh, some people. I don't know. That it, I don't know if he don't even know. He don't even know. Uh, if I did you know, it with... You're making shit you up, know, then. This is about every lot. Nice fucking sound effects on the mic right now. I just don't like his commentary anymore. Like, I guess I'm so used to it. Like, I expect it in a way. Like, you know, he has he has a certain attitude when he plays games. Right. I agree with you. Yeah, and it's all done for comic relief. Yeah. It's not like he acts like this, like, right. on camera. Off camera, he's nice. It's to be funny. But yeah. I don't think that people, you know... I, I just, no matter what I did with co-op this year, there was complaint. The Airy Lord, everyone, the Airy Lord. Yeah, know, this whole thing was about Airy Lord. Stuff with the Airy Lord. It's like, yeah, but take a look at the difference between the Airy Lord, you know, a year or two ago. He carried he was, some boring playthrough. Really you know, didn't know him that well. He, we weren't that friendly with him. And he was jumping into Interesting random thing to say. Now, and look, he did, he we did weren't that friendly with him. Too. He did fucking research. He played the whole first game. He knew everything about the second game. He jumped in and was one of the best team players in the game. And, uh, you know, I don't know how people can still complain about I mean, you don't like his Because voice, he sucked. It's this simple. Oh, that's right. why. I don't like your Probably voice. Never, never, it's, never. Not yeah, it's this simple. <laughs> I didn't use to Oh, yeah, make yourself sound more annoying. I do now. Even though you do okay. that on purpose. You literally make yourself sound more so annoying when you make the fucking sounds you make. Or Ooh. you can just not watch the Ooh. One what was all of that? I'm doing more games than ever. If there's a co-op game, yeah, I'm going to want to do a co-op. Now, this year I did co-op with Rambo. These I did co-op with my friend Corchado. Hey, Corchado. I did 
co-op with Panda Lee. Ooh. I did co-op with a couple other, couple other people. And then I actually did a completely random co-op campaign with people for Ghost Recon Future Soldier. And people definitely complained. Even then, the people were whining. Oh, well, he was like chasing that game, huh? Damn. Well, wait, so you don't like the intentional <laughs> people that I pick? And you need you to like use on everything. Do you fucking like anything? Or do you just sit there in your in your house like a fucking troll disliking everything all day? Like, I mean, you get to a point, you're like, I understand what the fuck? being insolent like, about it. You don't like but anything. literally, you, you sub like to the stupid DSP don't channel bother. to watch stupid yeah. DSP. I think it's a mix of the people. Some people aren't going like, to enjoy like, random people to be around. Gonna play, so nobody could complain about So you have to yell at them and ban them when they don't. It's like, eh, I don't know. I agree. It's one of those games. It's like, do I like the, do I like the Aries or do I like Chris for Borderlands? He could have looked at it in a good way. This is the thing, and this is what pisses me off. He had time to think about this, too. This isn't even his initial response. He thought about this shit for months and built up his fucking argument. You should really play co op. And it's this. This is his argument that he thought of ahead of time. The soy voice. complaints. It's like, well, fuck you. Everyone asked for it. I gave you what you asked for, and then you complain. So, you know what? I'm going to do whatever I want. Yeah, sure. The it's lie detector test determined that was a lie. He yeah, found a fence. Hmm. Honey, put that one right here. It's perfect to hang right there. You don't want the, I don't want the balls too close together. He <sighs> just had to <sighs> fully yell at us for a bit. Oh, you like when your balls dangle? No, no. Well, excuse me, Mr. Picky Tree Man. Here, I'll hang that one over on the other side. Mm, fine. And then the other side of the tree. They got some so, J P P N. I wish I had that. too much to eat today. I play co-op. I always announce it ahead of time. I'm starving, actually. If you people who are in it, then don't bother. Don't watch. That's all I have to say. Like, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to keep catering to people who just don't like anything. It's, it just gets to the point. There's a difference between constructive <laughs> criticism and just... Don't you complain about every game you play, though? I really feel it. There's a group of people out there who, like, they... And then you tell like us that's him. why we like him. No because he has like, irreverent commentary I, 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 and he I, I, joke about the game. game. I'm enjoying it. I'm what if everybody joking about not liking Pandalee? When they call a fucking stupid. The game, they might. The comments, this sucks because I hate this guy. This voice. might be a joke. Shut what if the they're joking? You a mission. It could just be sarcasm, man. Isn't DSP really sarcastic? Nobody's making... Who is the person... Ah, yes. All day, 24-7... When I'm even sleeping, I'm just the most sarcastic person all the time. Ah, yes, everything and I, I ever say is just coded and covered in sarcasm, and I don't mean anything I ever say, right? You fucking idiot. To be fair, though, he was less sarcastic 10 years ago. It's cat's fault. Maybe. Figurehead. And like a lot of these people, popular YouTubers on YouTube. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm people talking about. Never, they don't care. Dr. They don't. Dre. They put out content. They know they have a good Knight. fan base. They never really interact and with them. And fucking West Coast they clowns. They don't have a personal website where they interact yep. with them. They don't talk to them in the I comments. They don't talk to personal messages. They don't they have don't a have P.O. box. <laughs> <on the forum. laughs> DSP, you got your girlfriends from personal messages, so that's good. Uh, big ups. I don't read the comments. And I his never wife. No. What a chat. Figurehead. Like a lot of these people, this is an interesting thread he's given yeah, right here. I don't know who I'm talking about. The people who never, they don't care. They don't. They put out content. They know they have a big fan base. They never really interact with them. They don't have a personal website. What where a they dumb thread this they don't is, talk man. To them in the comments, they don't talk through personal messages. They don't, they don't have, have a PO box. <sighs> yeah, you don't. Have, they don't have a PO box where you can send stuff and interact with them. I, I and now we have the amazing DSP comment system, where he has to manually approve every single comment. He approved questions all the time, and he never replied to them. Ever. And they're just sitting there. And you know he had to check his fucking email and he hit approve. And it'll be a dumb fucking question, of course. But it's like, what kind of stupid ass threat was this? I cannot talk to you in the comments. You talk enough over the cutscenes. I could be that. I can be that impersonal asshole. Really, I can, if you, that's what you really want. Or you can deal with the fact that if I can be that impersonal asshole. Or, me, or if you piss me off, me, I'll yell at yeah, you. And then you won't talk to me at all anyway. You can so you can either not talk want. to me or you cannot talk to me. Somehow, Stupid. If, you know, it, I'm, I'm supposed I to be agree. completely forgiving of everyone who says things that Full are out of place, that are insulting, that maybe actually are derailing what a video should be about. 
And it's like, come on, like, how do you not? Pandily had to deal with all of this in person. Yeah, it's like you wouldn't say certain things Amazing. to your parents in real life. But yeah. And then the she internet. compares DSP to Meanwhile, our parents. You wouldn't talk to your parents like that in real life. Like Something you want to tell us, Panda? So it's one or the other. You can either have the the, the me that you have now, the pers the personal me who has interruption of interaction with his fans, or you can have nothing. You can have the telling people to die in a fire in text form. Literally, just is interaction with fans. I agree. You know. People saying he was just being sarcastic, man. But then I do the hardcore gaming season giveaway, and everyone's grateful for it. But it's people like, were grateful when Hitler gave shit know, away too. It just doesn't make sense. So, uh, <laughs> you know, people who are always complaining about. Are you making a though, point? It's this simple. Ek, ek, Be ek, careful ek, ek, what you say, and uh, you know, understand that if you say something that could be interpreted as offensive. What an amazing so point DSP just wrong. made. I mean, I, and then he bring up Nazis before I even did. Why people think. That the internet Congratulations. Is a place where you could do whatever you because want. There's you no consequences. <laughs> People call me a Nazi and then I gave something away and they liked me. Wait a minute. <laughs> if you want a personal interaction with me, well, you're going to have to face the facts. Wow. That That's so fucking you're cool. Piss me off if you say something stupid or off topic. He gave away a bunch of empty cases and a PS4 that Panda didn't want because Watch Dogs wasn't out yet. Let's fucking go. No! For hours on end reading comments and blocking people? No! It's every once in a while I'll read the comments on a vlog video to see what people have for as Actions have consequences. Or every once in a while maybe I'll go on a part of a playthrough and see how people are receiving the playthrough. I don't sit there actively all day policing my comments and blocking you know, thousands of people. every single new comment on a video. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so people just have this mental... Oh, Phil's blocked thousands. What are you, nuts? I'm recording and I'm uploading and I'm doing yeah, so busy, stuff. man. I don't sit here he's doing other stuff. my comments in full time. I agree. You know what I mean? Like, this you know is a mean? preposterous notion that people get. And then, of course, you got the trolls who know that people have this crazy mentality or this crazy notion. Wait a minute. Holy shit. He disappeared. He made Panda Lee just do the rest of it. And he just ran it. <laughs> He's like, I'm about to end the video, but first... Let me say some shit. He said something nasty about me and deserve to be blocked, but then they try to turn it against me like I'm some kind of an unfair person. And people buy it. That's what I don't get. People actually buy and it. He's so used to being behind the camera and complaining because that's how he filmed all his playthroughs. So he's like extra powered behind this camera this way. Because they're just the, oh, he's going beast mode. On the internet, he's going be hog wild. <laughs> and a snort. All right, so that's on the internet. It must be true. <laughs> all right, so that's all I have to say about that. Four, four. They got right, two more parts. Right and I'd like to talk a little bit about the year as, as a whole, as a... a, a the industry as a whole this year, what I really Panda just completely out of it. She's like you know, actually depressed now. Some of the, 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 the she needs things, a sip. Some of the worries and, and just just gaming in general rather than talking about my own personal YouTube stuff. The roller so. coaster that is the game. She got to get the last so, word. All right, we'll be right back. Let's see. She didn't. Okay. So we're moving on. We're, we're finishing up the balls. And we're going to start putting on. We'll probably do a few of these. Did they do uh, this in 2013 even? These lights. Fake lights, red lights, and get some red on the tree, and then we'll do some of the character ornaments. But, uh, alright, so now I want to talk about what I want to get off my chest about the gaming industry. This oh year. boy. Because the whole honest, industry. Everyone, for the first year since I've done gaming on YouTube, DSP exposes the industry, part 78 overall, out of a thousand. The industry as a whole, and its focus on pumping out sequels. Oh my god. Big ups, D Trash Man. The 420. Big ups, Tevin. Use this to buy some turkey. Also, how many rotten eggnog shots does this buy? Oh man. It's funny you say that because I do have eggnog. Pumping I didn't even open it. Complete, pumping out right remakes, but just lack no. of originality and or I'm charging a hundred dollars for Hennessy shots tonight. Because there were so many I don't want to get too drunk, you guys. Had, like, on disc DLC. You had games it's okay, no I don't have any whales, so nobody's gonna do it. You didn't take enough of my sixty dollars when I bought the retail game. Now you wanna milk me for even more money. I gotta watch that again. And not today. At this point the whole piracy issue is is uh is not a good a, a valid excuse anymore for them to be doing that kind of shit. Sure piracy affects them, but not I wish I could watch the last stream I did. Dude, I can't even watch it. If my so, OBS didn't crash, I would have just been able to close I mean, the be stream. Honest, a lot of the games that well, came at least, out this year, like, stop it. That even looked really good. But OBS and crashed. It came out and you played it and you were like, oh my god, it's it was just not, like not what I expected. 
Games like Operation Raccoon City. That was a. That was I a wonder what happened one. though. How much that game got? Because so I was standing up the whole time, like, and I assume I just went to the bathroom and, and then came back, and I was and like, oh actually not even alive. Pumping the hell out of it, saying it was going to be a great game. It's going to have Claire and Leon from Resident It could have been worse. I know I didn't yell like, at anybody like suspiciously, so, it was like so I'm happy about so that. With zombies. And, and I think the autoplay was, was just an old like, Tevin stream, was short. so I was still here, but I short. wasn't. And then, to, to boot, it's only one campaign. The game has two full campaigns in it, but only one of them do you get when you buy the retail game. Then you have and to spend more money to get this, the hero side campaign. Spoonie Tun sent $10.17 during that. I was asleep when it happened. The game that you already made... But you want to I'm charge more sure. money for it. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, put those on. Okay. Put all the bulbs on, and then we'll do the I character like the stuff. Bulbs. I like the shape. The bulbs are easy because they're small. They don't take up too much space. And they dangle better. So, uh... You know, not, a camera, way, not, you know, not the camera, not the camera. The sound that the sound was the microphone falling because I woke up and the microphone was on the floor. Because I was standing up the whole time. The, you know, so the, the microphone DLC had different leverage or something like that. Number. Cross Tekken, where they had like extra so that's characters what that was. Already on the fucking disc that they didn't Nothing they broke. The game, but they didn't give the characters something could have broke. Pay for them later. So I got lucky. I, 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 don't think, I don't think that's that's right. I mean, I mean, I like it fell right in between the Hennessy bottle. Right in between the guinea pig cage, it was in the perfect spot to fall down and not do anything bad. But it seems wrong. Like I know games have gotten cheaper. Like they used to be what, like a hundred dollar video games? Yeah, they used to be around. But it's like in this economy, it's bad. In this economy, you can't buy every video game in this economy. It's just a money. It's a money sucking tactic. Look at them wobbling. And it, that's that was one of the things I was disappointed with. But the other thing is just the cheap cash. In and his back was truly Black just deteriorating by the end of this uh, session. Call of Duty Black Ops. 2, he was dead. You know. Well, his back uh, was. The disc was know, slipped. Three to some extent. Um, a lot of these games are just like well, it's Big ups, the Sam, man. The Merry Christmas to you too. Oh, it's, it's still so Christmas good, somewhere, and you like, including I, where what's, I am. What's so groundbreaking about this? It's a fucking the same thing. It's the fucking same game. Astonishing. They used more times this year than ever, but nothing was groundbreaking or astonishing. You pretend like everybody yeah, play every right game, on, and then tell us everybody can play every game. Like, but this game sucks because it's not groundbreaking. It's like every other game. Criminal. But what if you didn't play them all? There's nothing groundbreaking about the game at all. That was literally his complaint. So it's many years later. With Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, the game's great, but it's like so many other games. Why are people fucking sucking it off? You can tell that these reviewers didn't play every release because if they did, they will point out that this game isn't even that special. I mean, maybe the game did, you know, everything better than those other games to them people. It could be a lot of things. And sometimes something's run at a mill and still really good. DSP should understand that he's fucking 40 years old. He's 40 years old and married to Cat. Shouldn't he understand this? And therefore, this is a franchise. They thought it might just be a one off game, see how it does. But it sold so well and was, you know, received so well that they decided to make it a franchise, which I say bravo because they keep it. so loud now. Big ups, Tevin, and Merry Christmas to the detractor community. Everybody in the chat post Christmas tree emojis literally right now. For scumbag Josh. Chance they made a new a new game. And people liked it. That you know, it's a different kind of game. You can play it in different ways and get completely different experiences out of it. It's got multiple different endings, and people like the game. I wonder when you're gonna play like Bayonetta three. I hope you don't. Rewarded. I hope it just but never just gets like talked about on the stream again. So He's gonna afraid. ruin that they game. Try something new. And I think it's because you have situations like last <laughs> He's year. He's going to say it's a copy of something else. Why do people like Shadows this? It's like every other game. game. But no one played it. You're yeah. going to pretend no like you like Devil May Cry. Because they, so, they were saving their fucking money for their yearly installments of the same bullshit. And I think it's also the, the maturity of it. Like, let's face it. Uh, parental guidance using mom isn't going to get that for 10-year-old Timmy. Pandale, how old are you? I think that off put some people like, oh, it's just toilet humor. Mm. I'd rather save my hmm. money for something I know will be good. Oh, you see my bunny? Yeah, just yeah. toilet humor yeah. and yeah. the bunny. That's what he looked like. Oh, he's so cute. R.I.P. Bunny. Now we put up Epic Mickey. Right? Yeah. Oh, 
way, you know what? We will have him replace the star, drill a hole right in his ass. I wonder what he's ornaments at now. The three or four actual ornaments that DSP loved and cherished. They were very sentimental. You have the dead rabbit. And uh, maybe like another one, I don't know. He probably got a Jasper ornament. I should put it next to the dead rabbit. There we go, right in the front here. Where he deserves This is my buddy, buddy. I had it when I was a kid. Yeah, it was named Aww. Bunny. A bunny named Why Bunny. Alright, can I have... Oh, you got Dante. <laughs> can I have the, a typo, please? Unfortunately, the battery died on this thing last year. And I never got a replacement, so it doesn't light up anymore. But it's still cool. <laughs> Why can't he do anything? So... Yeah, it died last year. year. It didn't buy a battery. Really you had a year. This year had potential to be huge, and a lot of the games that I think are going to be good too got much potential man. next year because they were afraid to release it during the hardcore gaming season. But it was loaded with games that were like kind of really disappointing. The Dutch brothers got a sense I mean, some I'm batteries. Just look very briefly at my calendar. And I were disappointed at the games that came out for 2012. Oh boy. The game with no fucking ending. You because you had to DLC wait for the next one. Obviously. <laughs> Are you saying that wasn't the best Final Fantasy that will ever exist? Twi Twisted Metal, which was actually a good game, but was played that was by my online first problems. Game with you. Yeah, but it was so well, played Remember when Twisted Metal died? Oh, yeah, it was game. awful. That was a disappointment. Dude, what happened? Course, you know, Mass Effect 3. I I'll be honest with everyone, I enjoyed the game, but I was a little disappointed with, with the game. I thought the game was fun, but it, it didn't feel like the biggest, most epic ending to a trilogy. What you know? does that mean? A trilogy that had grown so large, and here's a trilogy of games that you basically spent how many hours with? It didn't make him emotionally years, feel the way he wanted feel to feel. Like the, whoa, the scope I agree. of the game was big enough for a trilogy of that. Like, I should have been bigger. There should have been more stuff going on. I wanted more Cortez. <sighs> <laughs> <Don't mind me. laughs> well, obviously, we already said how bad Operation Raccoon City was. More stuff going on. I wanted more Cortez. <sighs> Don't remind me. <laughs> yeah, if only well, DSP knew he would find amazing games like Bug Snacks. Uh, only Star a mere Wars decade later in his career, he would actually hey, play some good games. Off. It took long Max enough. <laughs> Which would have been a good game if it the worst fan service man game bugs that broke the game for me mm. you know just oh yeah and high on life you can't forget high on life that's gonna be one of his favorite sure. games of the year man you know, in Kalisto protocol games. obviously he went against oh, the whole industry with that game Cybertron, which I hated. I he wanted to go know. viral they could have done what the, the, the previous game in the series was twice as good as the game that I played this year <laughs> seriously what a disappointment to take out the co-op Big ups, Bonzo boy. We're revisiting DSP's minutes. Christmas pass, at really least for a little bit. With them more and you can't. I mean, what a disappointment that was. Uh, I, don't, I don't think. I think games he hates the shields, and people that do it for money. Like and all of the games. The gameplay, the, the competitive but he loves his tree and his great, beautiful new girlfriend, Panda Lee. No extra features. Like. And so at least he had a, every game obviously has, you know a trials you know? mode a storied you know you know a storied bowl. mode and stuff like that Tekken Bowl and they don't yeah, Tekken Bowl uh, they had the beach volleyball uh, Tekken so what uh, did Tekken, Tekken not do right called, uh, or did they do everything right Tekken 2 they had that uh. it's just like they always had optional mode this year nope bare balls oh they did everything bare wrong we can give you and it's like really in 2012 you're gonna put out a bare bones fighter you know, like, this yeah, is this is irrelevant now, though, and you don't play the game anyway, so fuck you. Yeah, it came out two weeks later with twice as much content. Good job asking for more and not even supporting after that, that, you fucking I asshole. I hope people do that to you for the next ten years. Wait a minute. Dun, dun, dun. They did. But don't worry, he asked for more, too, so I guess it even out. He definitely, definitely asked for more in the last ten years. But what if he uh, never did? It's just business. Save the house. I never said I was trying to save my house. I never so said, like, oh, if you don't tip me, I'm going to lose my house and be homeless and in the gutter tomorrow. I never said that. Save the house. What are you talking about? <laughs> These fucking people, man.
It's huge. I don't know if it's going to fit. My parents bought it for me last year, but I, I didn't put on yeah, the treats. Yeah, the sky is falling. He's not crying, Wolf. With salt Santa, he tries to touch Snort. It. No, it lights up inside. There's a whole scene inside yeah, of it. I see it, but Jesus. He tries to touch it. But I, I didn't put on the tree because it was so big, and I don't know what if it's going to fit. Was it a weapon with salt Santa, he tries to touch you? No, it lights up inside. There's a whole scene inside yeah, of it. I see it, but Jesus. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna put that one on the tree. It's too big. Yeah. Oh well. If I had a giant tree, that would be somewhere to put it. Sorry, but. sorry, Phil's parents. It's pretty big. Sorry, Phil's parents. That ornament is now banned. We never saw it again. All right, so we're almost done here. It looks like. We pretty much got. It's a very of, garish. Couple more story. Now, uh, realistically, they could have hung it about here, and it would have been sitting right there. It's a big old gap. Right here. They got to put something there. Director they will eventually. Three Stooges yeah. and a couple others to yep. put on there. But it could have fit there. We can put the banana condom. Oh, yeah. That's uh, the girl <laughs> from... Uh, <laughs> that's the girl from... Uh, fuck, the role-playing game I played last year. Uh, this guy. This guy. Yeah. This guy. What? Gaia. Oh. This guy. Hmm. Right this huh. guy. All right, so we'll be right back. Just got actual wife who was on a tree. All right, so we're gonna get started. DSP was walling out. A random fucking uh, anime girl on a tree. <laughs> this is gay. Oh, okay. Dude, he loved the series. Oh. These little character ones we gotta you put on. You forgot Snoopy. Snoopy. Spider Man. Spider Man. The Spider Man. The Spider Man. John Spider Man. The Grinch. Which, which Spider Man? Oh is shit, the Grinch. Is Spider-Man turn off the dark? The stupendous Spider-Man. The stupid Spider-Man. Is this the so many. Spider-Man movie you watched? Yeah, we gotta get Squeeze a Banana stone? and a Grinch that song. I hated that movie. For the next few minutes. <laughs> you didn't even finish watching. You couldn't even sit through it. I couldn't sit through it. The whole movie CGI. The entire fucking movie was CGI characters fighting. I was like, I can't put up with this. This is shit, man. I turned it off. Too many movies have CGI. Like, too many. It's like a thing now. And the kid who played Spider-Man didn't look like Sp Peter Parker at all. Oh he looked my like God, a fucking this... douchebag. He looks like a little twerp. I mean, I guess that's the thing. He's like this little kid that you wouldn't even suspect, but... Three Stooges? Well, I will... They all have to go together. It's like a set. Oh, no, shit, I, I forgot about this one. Curly's arm, Curly's arm came off oh, last yeah, year. Oh, yeah, last year. He told me. Shit. So we gotta be super careful with him. I love the Three Stooges. Alright, let's see. Man, his arm came off. Fuck. Oh. So it's gonna stay on. I have no idea what this even is well, now. You know, it's gonna have to be good enough. What is this? It sucks! What the fuck is this? This sounds like some hip hop y shit. <laughs> That's the lit Grinch, dude. Let's see, let's read this title. I don't know. Whose fault is it? Illumination? What's illumination? I don't know, it's their fault. This is what I get when I do some requests. Some requests, Grinch theme. They have the algorithm on lock. I can't even understand what's going on in this version of the Grinch theme. It's probably way better with the video. I'm not watching the video, so we lost. You're a fucking clown, Mr. Glow. You deleted all my requests. I just wanted to hear a song that I thought was the best. Get out. He was a good character, but I don't know. I feel like he wasn't I'm just gonna have to wait for the fucking banana. Pendley, what are you saying? You're talking about the Three Stooges. Like he was a good character, but I don't know. 
like he wasn't as, he didn't act as funny. <laughs> okay. Like, he looked like a little too serious. I love like, the yeah, Three Stooges. Yeah, the farmer curly had the stroke, and it was just those two, but then they, of course, had to bring in Shemp because they couldn't do anything. And Shemp. Is this, we gotta say something? Uh, uh, silent Night. Yep, it is Silent Night. Silver Bells. No, oh. we're talking about outside. Oh. Yeah, outside well, is Silent, silent. Night. <laughs> These people, man. Hey, we're just having fun. Yes, this is totally silent night, Phil. How do you not know this? Uh, massive sarcasm. Well, the arm's fine with the spoons I'm not going to be able to put back on. There's no way. <laughs> the in real life troll. <laughs> what if he just went along with it and said, Yeah, I love silent night. It's my favorite song. Also, big ups of Bunny for the triple six. Merry Christmas from Beyond the Grave. Can't believe this boomer replaced me with his ugly cat. I hope the cat shits on his face while he sleeps. It probably already happened. I'm sorry, but Curly's done. Now you have a Grinch ornament? Holy fuck, he's just quiet for this video. But hers is like from Oh man, we get that Grinch. The little 8-bit Grinch song. Hey, it worked out. You can leave super thanks on all these there videos. Ah, oh, this is cartoon Grinch, not the yeah. Jim Carrey No, it's Grinch. not the Jim Carrey Grinch, God forbid. <laughs> yeah, oh, God forbid. We fucking creepy. can't monetize this fucking stupid ass video for 12 oh, minutes while I actually <laughs> dig in my ass. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider <-Man. laughs> Young, dangerous Spider-Man. Swinging throughout the city. We needed to keep this monetized yeah, fully. <laughs> We needed to. We needed to. We fucking needed to. And we got the burp. Leave a super thanks for that. Love that segment, Phil. You gotta leave a fucking heart on it. Be nice. Isn't it funny that it's gonna play this What an amazing, amazing segment. Wow. We all are so happy we got to see that. Fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, that's a weird box. There you go. Yeah, it's a weird box. It's cute. Thank God forbid this place. It's like snorts in a song. That's why DSP didn't want to let it play. They still owe him money for it. It's a lot of Grinch songs. I don't even know if I heard that one before, but I heard it today. It's a gigantic star. It's a nativity scene. You know what it is? I went to Sunday school. Hmm. It's a star. You're a mean one. It's a heavy one, so you definitely got to put on a big crash. Yeah. Bunch of branches to support it. Really this is the one DSP grew up with. You fucking scrunches and scrooges. Stop climbing down my chimney and stealing my presents. Is that it for the ornaments? I think so. Well, we got the Street Fighter and the Banana Condom. Come on. Can't forget the Banana Condom. Banana Condom. Classic. Yep. I don't know what you're supposed to possibly use that thing for. What the fuck would you put in there? What do you use a banana condom for? Let your banana swing free. To let it swing. Haven't you had days where you just let your banana out in the open? That was the silliest pre-order bonus I think I've ever gotten. Just let your banana wave out in the open. Sometimes you flop it around. Sometimes it falls limp. Alright. Get those on. Okay, Street Fighter, we'll put. There you go, Street Fighter. And let's get the little banana condom somewhere special. You know what? Perfect. Uh. 
で Do you just sneak behind a tree to walk outside, I guess? Whatever. It's set up like they just go out the back door, and I don't even think this place had a back door like that. It looked like a door that it actually isn't used. Like they don't even oh, have the, the key. Pickle. The, the Christmas, Christmas pickle! pickle. <laughs> you think she took this when she left? Or if you still have it in the house? You know what? This is your first pickle. I want you to have the honor. Oh my goodness. This became a yearly tradition. Yes! The Christmas pickle! They should have put the pickle inside of the banana thing. Now that would have been weird. We love Germany. Austria. We love Austria. I figured out that dude might be one of them people. I ain't talking about him today. Uh, ignore me. Last year, for some reason, my parents went nuts and bought me like a thousand ornaments. See, they were hoping to get rid of the banana condom. Should put these on too. These three. Nice big green pickle. Here, you put these three on. Put the pickle. It's like a. He might have picked no system <laughs> into thinking it was something else. I don't know yet. I gotta do more research. Delicious pickle. Damn. So there you go. Now you have your first pickle. Congrats, DSP. You finally got your first Thank fucking you pickle. pickle. A beautiful pickle. Christmas pickle. Yeah. Barely see it. I picked it out special for you because you needed a special ornament. Forget yeah. our first Christmas together or ornament. Pickle. Wow. Yes, we're forgoing the couple's first Christmas ornament for a pickle. That's the couple's first Christmas couple's ornament. First <laughs> She's quadrupling down on this pickle. What's the best part is I had that hidden with me the entire time. That was supposed to be a big reveal <laughs> for her to bring the pickle out and put it on the tree. He didn't even ask about what? it. I She's like, I think it might be Germany or, or Austria. He's like, uh. Ah. What? What? I had it hidden in the band of my you pants. You didn't know it's like, I'm not looking down there. Yeah. No. Heck, 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 heck. I'm not looking down there. It's it's, it wasn't gold. down there, but it was like right at my, it was right at my waistband. I had a huge bulge. Awkward discussion. Wow. You didn't notice well, my bulge? Uh, no, honey. It's a surprise by the pickle. Uh, well, she she's even pointing out she's disappointed now. She's even pointing out she's disappointed now. Oh my god. The recurring nightmares. What? <laughs> what recurring nightmares are you having about no. women's pickles? Too many of them. Are you having recurring nightmares about me with a pickle? Yep. Okay, well, unfortunately, this <laughs> thing has a lot of dead lights now. There's nothing I can do about it because I don't think you can even get replacement bulbs for it anymore. It's ah, so old. I found a way to enter the tree without knocking an ornament over. Right in here. So we're gonna put a star up there without oh. uh, maybe one bulb oh, don't work and not all of them. Oh, oh, Yeah, this is truly when the age difference looked the worst, but it's also when he first started dating her. He looked somehow, it's just his back, I guess. He looked really old. Suspiciously old. He looked like he might be 40 here. And she looked like she's just some random lady. A random girl. I guess she was, technically. Yeah, he had that chain a long time. Ooh, I like that one. Well, if you put it on this one... I feel like I figured out when he got it at one point. One of these is all of them together. 
Like it goes through all of them in a transition. It's no way he's wearing it in a reveal but video. But maybe he is. I don't want to look it up to figure it out. All right, so I think, besides the star box, which we have to put away, I think this is uh, pretty much set. We're going to complain for the last two minutes. Happy Christmas. Thank you, honey. Happy Christmas. Turn this light off. He ignored her when she said Happy Christmas, oh, even. Oh, Holy cow. Baby. He was just done. By part four, he was done talking. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty Christmas tree. Hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Yeah. Yeah, ring, ring, ring. Kumbaya. He just Seems like the thing do. wobbles first around. Kumbaya. We get the little. <laughs> Our first of hopefully many. <laughs> wow, what a moment! First of hopefully many. Thank Christmas. you, honey. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed our Christmas. Uh, what a heartfelt video! This year. Mm -hmm. Took a little while, but we got it together here. And, we did it uh, together. Now we actually have presents and stuff from over here that we can start. We can put under the tree for tonight. Wait, not, uh, oh, this from like I days ago. Tonight? No, you cannot. I will scroll down, dude. I was confused. <laughs> Silly. Mm. You can open them tonight if you want. It's a big deal. Well, now you ruined it. Now it's not magical anymore. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that's it for the Christmas tree lighting of 2012. I hope you enjoyed it and or were thoroughly offended by my comments. And uh, that's it. We're putting the presents under the tree. What if you enjoyed it in. and you were offended? Push them way under there, honey. Way under there. There we go. So they're out of the way. So we're going to have to walk by there later. All right. Thanks, everyone. Oh my god. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Last word? She gonna get the last word. She makes this stupid sound. Woo! And it Merry Christmas. Christmas. God damn it, Pandalee. God damn you to heck. I'm trying to see if he did the same thing in 2013. And why wasn't Panda there if he did? Oh shit, this is way lamer than I thought it was gonna be. No! <laughs> I didn't even want lyrics, I thought it was just gonna be a beat. This is what happened. This is other people's fault, it's not my fault. Bruh. Damn, he didn't. He only did this stupid thing. What the flip? I can't type the word tree again. This Pandalay fault. How can I not find this? I thought you did this a bunch, DSP. I fucking pig gnosis myself. He did it in 2011 and maybe 2010. Something stupid like that. Yeah. Oh shit, it's this. I'm just clicking stuff. No. We're lost. Let's see, 16. Look at this. He gave up. He fucking gave up. Bruh. It's like nothing. He was playing fucking Call of Duty in 2010. Happy Holly Jolly fucking kill streak, man. Out there, welcome. Oh, God, he got a hundred members on his pre stream, so he miraculously hit the goal. Whoa, well, man, it was really, really fucking chill. Everybody was celebrating, throwing up gang signs and shit, saying hateful slurs. Yeah, we should have been listening to this instead. 
We were listening oh, to the wrong thing. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, yes. Merry oh, Christmas. Ah, yes. Ho, 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 ho. I am feeling tonight. super, oh, very oh, jolly, oh, merry. Santa. Happy Holly. Ho, 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 ho. Stream live from the North oh, ho, ho, ho. And I've decided to bring some Christmas spirit to the stream. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Christmas quickly oh, got shit. turned into him just <laughs> hyping up a stream and then putting a donation goal on the screen. No, I thought he loved Christmas. Chat trying to he loves monetizing it. People are spending time with their families. Un unacceptable. During the holidays, you should be doing nothing. I thought just singing DSP. And watching live streams and YouTube videos. You know what's funny? We listen to him on Christmas 2012, and he's basically telling us he's not going to do direct capture. And then we listen to him celebrating Christmas in 2013. And this is purely just Twitch DSP. That's why we got this. It's just him looking at his... Fucking stupid chat post Kappa and LOL because they didn't even have a lol emote back then. It's fucking yeah, nine years it. ago. That's all, all you're gonna do is watch streams. Time with their families. Un unacceptable. Unacceptable. During the holidays, you should be doing nothing but sitting in front of your computer. This is Christmas Eve. He uploaded it at least. Fuck knows when he did it. Videos. That's it. That's all there's time for. Unacceptable that people would spend time with their families, <sighs> holiday-related things like cooking, putting up the Christmas tree. You only cook on Christmas. Gifts. Those things are obsolete. It's all about watching I agree. And YouTube videos. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Man, this about. is a really good Obviously. singing video right here. Come on. Google sucks. Google oh my sucks. God, it's not even like a... It's just literally DSP clipped himself out of context making up a song on the fly. This is basically a clip from his stream. Uh, Socks, steal ad revenue. You may it's just a pre-stream clip, but he uploaded it. YouTube said, "Fuck you." And then he clickbaited it. ID match. You don't own your vid. Thanks, fuck pimp. Google, fuck YouTube, and suck upon my. What rhymes with vid? Damn, nothing good. Little mini video. He didn't even make this full screen. Okay, he did. Vid and dick. We don't need to listen to what he's talking dick. about in this dumb video. <laughs> All right, what else can we do? He's not even Dead doing anything. Your video money. -la -la -la, he had no decorations. La -la -la. Steal the content now. We own you. -la 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 -la. You are going out of business because we stole all of your ad revenue. <laughs> it's just him complaining about money. <laughs> what amazing good. Christmas songs. He's really good. feeling fucking right, jolly, isn't he? Next. On the first day of Christmas, it's just all about money. A match for content. <laughs> I'm so greedy. I, I think about money song. all the time. I could do it all I do is song. think about money. Every Christmas song I Every day magic. I think about money. <laughs> <laughs> Snart. You can see him snarting in this other video. Google Inc. We hate Google because they it's stole real. our money. Profit. Our profit. Um, our profit. But anyway. Oh, shit, you didn't even hear him. Profit. Glass of spit. This dude's like a fucking oligarch. You're an asshole. You stole my Google profit. Inc. Google Inc. Stole, stole its profits uh, profit. for playing Assassin's Creed. You're a dirty fucking company. You can <laughs> chug on to uh, chug a glass of spit. Google Inc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little company of He did Google. edit this, though. You, you can tell he had a little break in between the songs. Now. It's just all about money, though. Every fucking business, song is about money. Right. What a guy. <laughs> All we wanted to do, All we wanted to do was, was make money and make profits and make money. And, make money. and then you stole our money. Stole and then we didn't make money. And then we didn't make money. We want money. We need money. It's Christmas, so we want money. It works with every, every song, song is the same lyrics. He's basically a rapper. Google, yeah, he is. All his Google songs about money. Shysters at Google BTW. The things. shyster. Said, Fuck you. And let me guess, they took all money? Take all of your money. Yeah, this profits. Money and profits. Money, money. Yeah, yeah. Money, profits. Uh, money, money. Yeah, yeah. You think he would deflect this and say he's just talking about other people? <laughs> well, I'm not talking about myself, oh, no. man. I'm saying this is how other people feel. Other people only think about money all day. Yeah, I agree. They turned the toy workshop 
into ad revenue hell. That's how we have yes, stupid clips like go. the money, money, yeah, yeah. yeah Isn't that just him making fun of other people? Hell. Other people are greedy. <laughs> they're like this. They're acting this oh way. They're like, oh yeah, let's make the money. Assholes, money, money, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. They're so right. afraid that they'll get sued. They'll do anything to win. Let me guess this about money. Content ID match. Content ID match. videos obsolete. Obsolete no because you don't make oh, money. Gee, I guess that's the, the video obsolete because you don't make money. Bro. Big up, Yanks. Do anything to win. Great news, Yanks. Content your ornament from last match. year has survived and it's on the tree obsolete. this year. You'll make no money. Oh, gee, I guess that's the end of the song. I don't no know. No money. <laughs> Equal <laughs> obsolete. <laughs> oh, my goodness. DSPL, he's not greedy. He don't only think about what? money. Here we go. Oh, Google Plus. Oh, Google Plus. You ruined YouTube comments. Oh, oh shit, it's not about money. Plus. Oh, Google Plus. You're a fucking Scrooge. I used to talk on video. Yeah, it's not about money. Now I have to create an account. Let's go. On Google Plus. On Google Plus. No one uses that. I agree. Google Plus shit. sucks. That's why it's gone now. <laughs> there you go. If this the one song not about money. Christmas. I don't the know one what song. This is too good. We're here. Let's have fun. Let's drink that eggnog. What? Let's spike that punch. Oh, he was just joking. It's 2013. DSP don't that, drink right? on stream back then, dude. Google told oh, boy. They're stealing my money. Ads. Stealing ads? Was How was this a thing? Ad, but they're stealing my ads. They're stealing his ads. I put in lots of hard work, but they're stealing my ads. <laughs> Google is such a joke. You can leave a super thanks on this, too. Because it's silent. Ads, stealing my ads. Besides his amazing singing. Holy shit, DSP. Holy shit. <sighs> what won a poll anyway? I think it might have been 2014. Yeah, 2014, 2015. And 2017, 2018 is the fan favorite that nobody voted for. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, okay. I knew it was something. I'm oh, sorry, maybe he did. 2014, we did a tree lighting with Pandalee. So guess what, y'all? Pandalee's back. She didn't even leave. We right back in Panda. Wait. We right back with Panda. And I think she gained some weight. It's hard to tell her because she's dressed like that, but she did. Let's pretend that we okay, don't know her. Everyone. Uh, okay. Man, the videos are going to get longer, too. After it's going to fucking suck. Giving. Yeah, these videos are literally too long now. 24 minutes for one part. First ornaments. It take four videos to put on a first ornaments. Because they fucking around and unboxing and unbagging shit. How we suspicious. We went to a few different places. And we found that we really liked the trees the Sears had. Nearby where we, we just live here in scammed. Washington State. Okay. In there Washington places, State. So the places you can go, there's more designer boutiques where you can get insane. This expensive is his expensive tree, tree he bought I saw a tree that was to avoid buying a new tree. Of course it was and then he has to be huge, annoying. That's about Dude, I could have bought a tree that was $30,000. I got a tree that was like, you know, cheaper than that. You're looking for, okay? But it wasn't cheap, we like $20 or something. For a few things. One, so what, he got a $20,000 a $20, tree or a $10,000 tree? Maybe he got a $5,000 tree. Today, of course, things are much different. If a certain, if a single bulb goes out, all the lights on the tree don't go out anymore. But back then, that's how it used to be. Stupid. The tree also can change the colors to blue. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Warning and a huge helpful tip I want to give anyone. If you're in the market for a Christmas tree, I'm going to tell you right now this price that you see on the box, look at this. This price is bullshit. $599.99. Okay. Do not pay sticker price for a tree. He's acting like he haggled for a tree. Listen to this. What are we about to hear? I'm paying $600 for a Christmas tree. That's right. So what did you pay for it? And I kid you not. You went online and bought it then. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Store. 
It was half price online with free shipping. Whoa. So why would I pay six three hundred plus whatever the tax and all that was? You know, it came out to. You should have bought Cat an Xbox that. online. Maybe she could have got a Series X. Feel so bad for Could she not wait a store, day, right? two days for oh, shipping? I'm gonna buy a Christmas tree. We're going home with it. How old is she? Event. Come to find out, you paid double for what the damn thing was online. Like it just it it baffles. Yeah, but you still pay three hundred dollars for a, a tree that you don't even put up now. So congrats, you still fucking scammed yourself. But he's got a coat. Well, I could have spent six hundred dollars for it. You could have also spent fifty thousand dollars for it. Guess how much it was? How much was it? Uh huh. Still incredibly expensive compared to what we compared to what we paid. But three hundred is expensive to like a lot of people, no matter what they get. Because it's a fucking Christmas tree. And three hundred dollars is a lot, and you know. Yeah. So why are we talking about it so much? The price ranges they seem very basic. The way I see it is this: it's an investment. Okay, good job. Stuff. In fact, we are going to be pulling out blue because it's expensive. It might not break really fast, so that make it an investment. But he don't even put it up at all now because he got a cat. So the investment paid off. It was a really good investment. Right now, briefly before we start setting up the tree, to show you the stuff that we picked up. So oh man, all, we got a ton of garlic, all right? You know, he don't even talk about anything. He's just actually showing stuff here. off. Pretty easy, you know. The good thing about this tree is that it plugs all the sections plug themselves together through the central column. He's bragging while Pantaly do all the work. The tree that I had had three sections, but you had to have, find the wires in them and run the, the correct power cord into the wire. And if it was loose, it wouldn't work. This apparently has a central column of power going through it. And the pieces plug in as you... Yeah, that's what a three hundred dollar tree fucking look like, especially when they want to sell it for six hundred in the store. Some people buying it for six hundred. Most people probably buying it for six hundred. Look at that! Look how awesomely full the tree. That's why it's so good, man. Whoa! Bright red, solid red is what we're seeing. Actually, the camera's catching it. Looks more white, but those are dude. This look way better than my tree. Okay, let me take a step back. I didn't spend three hundred dollars on my tree because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, that turned it on. Okay. Steady warm white is what it's supposed to be right now. Yeah, Pandalee was mad small in that first Christmas video. Okay, let's And she is not mad small anymore. That's mm. multicolor. That's she still is a little anime, though. Red, blue, green, yellow. I see purple. Orange. Orange. Okay. Well, they call it amber, I believe. All right, next. Just red. Green. Holy blue! <laughs> Knock you on your. Head. Hold on a second. This Turn video killed Jay. Look a little better. Here we go. Camera is not good at capturing the colors. Of course not. We All couldn't right. fix it either. It goes bright, 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 bright. Not even in post. Mellow purple. Oh, multicolor, which is all the different colors. It's funny, right. every camera DSP has ever used was never good enough, and the colors never showed good enough. And what? And then he tells us that fucking out. red is pink and pink is red wow. and is purple no, and gray and green now. and black. Nothing look right. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> he never fixes it, though. Oh my God. I don't think he want to fix it. It probably just keeps going through all the colors, I would think, right? He don't want to fix anything. Let's see what it does next. Green. He could just tell right. us that it's yeah, not yeah, right and then make cool. up a color. Dude, this is What's fucking this purple. One? That's it. it oh, man, I love this red. Really, really now. vibrant red. Sorry, my camera has fucking stupid settings. Doesn't work right. So the colors don't look correct, but it yeah, they look great to me, ass. man. There's, it literally, for every color, there's a different settings for it, right? We're doing all of this. So as he tells us, it don't even look correct on the camera. Probably Why? The most amazing colorful tree I've ever seen in my life. I'm glad it looked good to him, though. I'm proud of them. bulbs, by the way, which is important to note. They don't make the old ones. The ones that I grew up with, when you put your hand on them like this, it would actually hurt your finger. It would actually yep. warm up. Not anymore. These are LED. These things are incandescent. Kind yeah, of I know it's not the 70s anymore. They're brighter and they don't burn <laughs> okay. you. Okay, the 80s anymore. Like and let's be real. When yeah. DSP was growing up, his yeah. family was probably yeah. using a tree from five, six, seven yeah. years yeah. previous yeah. to when he was born or some shit. You know, because if he put up his tree, he's going to be putting up this tree from 2015. And it's going to have old technology. If you grew up in the 80s, you might have had a tree from the 70s. If it was a, not a real tree. Oh, you might have had lights from the 70s. If you grew up in the 90s, you probably had lights from the fucking 80s on your tree. Because I feel like I probably did. The tree's out of the box. The bulbs used to get pretty hot. Come back, we're going to start decorating. What I'm going to probably do next before we start And people like trees will light on fire and shit. The old stuff out of the closet. We'll decide out of the old stuff, what do we want to keep and what do we want to toss? 
What do we want to put on the tree and go from there? So we will be back. Now in reality though, if DSP ever go around or get around to putting up some kind of tree again, he's going to just buy into one because it's too much time passed. Oh, the tree is really old. It probably fucking fell apart and disintegrated. He's going to say something like that, like with the green screen. Actually fake tree in a box, sealed basically. And he's going to be like, oh, well, if I get a tree, uh, if I uh, put up a tree, I'm going to have to get a new one. You know, it's going to cost hundreds of dollars. My last tree cost me hundreds of dollars. And it's probably fucking disintegrated in the box. And I probably doesn't even fucking work. Pedal works. So you don't even... You don't it probably doesn't even work, dude. It probably pedal, doesn't work. Off. It's a good fail safe. We just got to buy a Very new nice. one. Very nice. We'll be back. He was okay, trying to compete well, with, like, back. Logan Paul well, or some shit right back now. in the past. Are that tree's huge, dude. But it's fake. Pandalee should have made fun of it for being fake. From Connecticut. So Maybe she uh, stopped being as childish. This year. So we're going to do is go through it. I can smell the pain. Yes, to that star, right? I think the one oh thing that's been difficult is figuring out how to get the power cord <laughs> all the way down. Because remember, this tree is... They got a bunch of new ornaments, too, for this. Stuff from their parents. Stuff he bought. Stuff they stuff bought. In. They bought everything. The hypo from Bioshock, I think maybe they'll sit out this year. Yeah, he never bought a new battery for it. Oh, this looks like something Christmassy. It's didn't have a battery working in 2012. Yes. 2015 yeah, still don't work. I think it's gonna sit out. Yeah, we never used it again. It's still, it's basically trash. Just throw it away. Just throw all of the shit away. Even if it's new, throw it away. Silly looking pictures of the hamsters sleeping on their backs. Oh. Remember that? Mm -hmm. we got of that course last I year. do. Yeah, I got it for you. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. The mm -hmm. joke this month. Oh, that's Joe Cool. I'm gonna watch Black the Santa. special sometime this month. Oh, that's Joe Cool. The mm -hmm. Joe Cool Snoopy. That's when my parents got <laughs> for me. Nutcracker. Mm-hmm. Go on. <clears throat> oh my God. Do that. Gave me the Christmas pickle. That's a tradition. I love the tradition of the Christmas pickle. One of my favorites. Yep, we got this one together too. This right. and the snowman. Mm-hmm. Definitely do that. Those definitely need to go on. You pre-ordered Street Fighter 4 five, six years ago. It's still here. I think we'll forego that. This oh, year. no. He wanted his shoe to be more adult, so he's foregoing Street Fighter bandanas and hypo injectors from Bioshock. I think that's what it's called. See, Christmas by Krebs. What did I say? We keep the piccolo. It's German or Austrian. Or something. Maybe green or red. It's like the guy. What is that? I can't see it. Our first Christmas. The first ornament we ever bought it's together. Not focusing. Oh, okay. Is it? Our first Christmas yeah, together, 2012. Okay, definitely putting that one on. Mm -hmm. It wasn't focusing. It's not even our first mm -hmm. Christmas together, by the way. Green. It's just the first one they celebrated green. officially together. Right. Dun dun dun. Back to, the, Back to the future. I think we'll hold off on that oh, one this yeah. year. Oh no, the banana condom. Nope. We will that forego that later, one. But not this year, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, it's Dante's, uh, Dante's staff. It's what's her name? I hope we didn't um, skip the rabbit. Just Gaia. Yeah. An yeah. M M's ornament. Nah, we're foregoing those. They're too childish. <laughs> You're like, we can throw those out. <laughs> Now. Toss them right in the this is like the grow up video well, when they say, Yeah, like fuck all of these fun ornaments. We're keeping the pickle up. We're asking when we were at the store if they made it. Like, one definitely made it. That's one. one. I don't know where the other one is. Just a bunch yeah, of traditional new we'll ornaments from his parents. Yeah, we're not Why putting we action we figures on a tree this year. I don't remember. We will the forego the that. Uh, the green one was mine. Yeah. yeah. So your stocking is here. I don't know what the hell happened to mine. Fucking stock in discussion. It's the dildo. Oh my god, it's epic Mickey. Go oh. smash that. Smash <sighs> it on the floor. <laughs> Here, Spider Man, save us. All right. We will so, forego that. Right, that's good. So we've just added two, uh, we're already interested in traditional Christmas characters. 
The ornaments here. What the first hell? First Christmas, the ornament okay. you bought me last year. Some of the lights, some of the small balls, and the green, the green colored balls to mix in with the red. Some of the lights, some of the small. The holiday balls, and pickle. The green, the green colored balls. Right there. Can you even see it? Yeah, you can see it. Don't worry, it'll be saved. To mix in with the red balls we have over there, the red and green garland, and the red tree skirt. And of course, the star for the. Oh. So got a good, a good. As all the little things fall off as we decorate, it'll fall right onto the tree skirt. Also, we get to see how big this tree skirt is because we bought a huge one. Thing was gigantic, I know. All right, I probably need scissors, right? Oh yeah, you got a hundred of these tab things. How much money you think they spent this right, thing? This is like an Air Berlin haul. We should just buy five hundred dollars worth of Christmas tree. shit nice. every year. All right, here we are post garlanding. We started with red, transitioned over to the red and green, then more red. We can see this DSP, but I thought the camera YouTube, settings were bad. And maybe it's time for me to think about doing stuff a little bit more mature. Big ups DSP's hairline. Merry Christmas to you life. too. One day you won't be with us anymore. You know, just until until I was actually able to make a living doing YouTube stuff, I never really was in a position. Where I could even say, wow, I have a chance that I can move on to Connecticut. It took until part four to get the rant slash discussion segment. And guess what? That's the longest video. And guess what the title of it is? First ornament slash the year end review. Epic. I'm so excited. And the next one is called the positive stuff. Why is that video 11 minutes long? And I can move in with a, my <laughs> Make girlfriend. Make it more obvious. I, can I moved in with my girlfriend. Things like get a nice this is a negative house. video, I though. I never imagined, you know? It never was a thought in my head. Because I was, you know, it, my life struggling. You fucking hate I was struggling Pandaly. to find consistent work that paid decent. To find somewhere where uh, my talents and or my personality were something that someone found value in. Oh, my God. You know? Even I back then, 10 years ago, he wanted value and meaning out of everything. Food. And everything had to be meaningful and valuable and uh, fun and interactive and chill and robust and a little bit tangy. I want to take my talents to YouTube. They appreciate me and my content is valued there. And then Jay show up waiting for war. And, uh, and then moving back into the retail realm. Jade is ready so for God of War. Networking I am too, Jade. Then finally, for like four or five years, having say hey to Atreus for me. They never fucking do it either. Who ended up basically going above and beyond his job description to the point where I was trained to redo uh, their entire repairs process with continuous improvement. <clears throat> to the point where, at one point, the company was literally talking about making me management. And then, you know, all this time when I was doing that, able to DSP, move they were just hyping you up to string you along. Of my own for the, the same way DSP like, never wow, played the games, really he'd tell us he might want to play, uh, he's interested in maybe playing one day. This, you know, that bullshit. This, this job, uh, if you guys want to see it, a really, it's a decent maybe if you guys want to see it. Uh, he's been and, teasing uh, returning to Oblivion for the last like six fucking years. And now it might happen when people pay him to do it. Silly videos on the internet, playing games, messing around. And yeah, you know, I got my own place, but this is more of a store. Dude, they wanted place. me to be this a manager. A they probably lied to everybody in, like that. You know, for any if they told them anything. Period of time, and and he's still complaining about the same you know, job. And then the thing is, he's complaining about this job four years after he lost it. This is 2014. It's about to be 2015 at this point in time, and he's bitching about the job he lost in 2010 before his life actually got better. Why are you complaining about this job? It makes no fucking logical sense. Just like if he complained about Pandaly on his pre-stream tomorrow. Bro, aren't you happily married? Why are you whining about your old bitch? And he's still complaining about this job. A decade after he lost it. He's like, yeah, man. They fucking told me I was cool. And then they told me I wasn't. And I was like, huh? So then I started doing this full time. And started doing stuff for YouTube and being really truly independent and making my own money for myself. Oh, uh, right, right. Said, maybe at some Wait, point in my life I would what? like to advance and do something nicer with my life. It took YouTube you know, for that? Seriously have that a relationship with you know someone. What? I don't care. Move out of uh, a crappy little uh, bachelor pad and move on to a better place. And that's really this year, the year of 2014, ended up being a year where that was my focus. Where it wasn't about, oh, it's just about playing games now. 
and it's just Big ups, about Ron. and Merry fun Christmas making videos anymore. It was like I still want to do that, and I still want to make money doing that, but I kind of have to take a step back from doing that because I want to focus on improving my life situation. <laughs> And so, what did he do? You know, it was funny. Early in the year, people, Phil, what convention? He moved are you going into a bigger house and he moved in with a lady. And where are you doing this and that? And basically, my he didn't even was, fix his back. And he was pretending I'm to really fix his back for like four years. That, you know, funny that was one of the reasons why I apparently you know, needed to be with him when he moved across the country, just in case he got fucking point, surgery. I more on right. I that story went away really fast. Get out of Connecticut. Connecticut's too expensive. Uh, if I get surgery on my back, Leanna's going to have to take care of me. It's right, that bitch dumb as fuck. I was paying just to be in Connecticut with no real benefits besides That's why it was with her. Whatever. And being, a, you know, an independently contracted person who basically owns their own the business. Seattle the Seattle air fixed his back. The insane amount of taxes that Connecticut charges. Such a good actual thing he said. Maybe the Seattle air fixed my back, man. I don't I know. Paid more taxes in Connecticut <laughs> between. I can move around better now. Than I did before. Oh, when really? I was working for that office shop, and it was just money that I could have been investing back into what I was doing for YouTube. Or back into my own life. I was and Pandaly got to deal with it, of course. Just for the sake of living in Connecticut. And at first it wasn't that... She got to hit us amazing discussion for about how years. DSP wasted money. You know, I started in, in 2010 and then I moved on from AdSense to Blip TV and then subsequently over to Machinima as a Machinima partner. Uh, you know, if I did that for since 2011, 2012, and 2013, and come 2014, I said that's it. It may, it's it's time now to be serious. It looks like, you know, consistently, this is going to at least work as a source of income for. So it took future, until 2014 for him to think this, long, but I thought he figured this out in 2012. Work, right? But he said this in 2012. Years, it looks like it's going to work as a source of income, and rather than me every year he said this, a few more years maybe. Say, no, I'm going to be, you know, I yeah, maybe this can keep working for a few more years. Lives. They didn't take chances. When you shit on other people. Their whole lives. Oh, they have to fucking about, beg and no, the they have to shill. Doing the easy thing. They have to they do uh, uh, the sponsorship. Fathom. That's going to be the new Christmas doing video. YouTube if he did one like this. They would have said, oh, it's a nice hobby. They got to take that bag, right? They got to take that sponsorship. You know, every time you guys I, want me I to do a shot, anything, it'll be one hundred dollars. YouTube goes away tomorrow. I am not taking the but bag. At the same time, I can't just sit around and be some kind of a worry wart, right? And say, well, just because something might happen doesn't mean it will. And as long as it's not happening, I should do stuff with my life. And so, twenty fourteen became the year of me basically saying, okay, this looks consistent, at least decently consistent enough that I think it's time for me to consider getting out of Connecticut. Moving on to somewhere else, living with Leanna full time, which you know a previously full what, time. tough relationship it was, honestly. Not no, being it able wasn't. to see each other at such extended periods of time. It was very difficult sometimes. Whenever we wanted to see each other, she had to sit on a train for three hours each way. Did she have to? Or fly, or oh. you know, different. When did she things. fly? It was, it was difficult. How do you, as an adult, have a meaningful relationship when you can only see each other for one long weekend a month? That was that? kind of a lot, though. It's hard. Some people yeah, get way less DSP. I thought you'd know about it, life. To make it, to make it a One whole a weekend month. a month. Oh, no. You know, so for me, it became an opportunity to say, well, you know what? Let's Literally all 24 hours a day, too, say, oh, for that gonna, one weekend. The actual a, whole 72 hours. To go, a, oops, to go on a vacation this year. Very chill. And we're going to spend this much money doing this on youtube projects i said you know and then when you I'm play saying, games and then when you play games during that weekend she got to talk too she got to talk during that i'm moving and it was interesting because we know where he didn't play it, games you know, those weekends he used to stagger his uploads a weird way but so he would upload when he was hanging out with panda lee but he wouldn't make videos with her except it. when he had got forced to do it and then everybody started, complained you know, we're like, okay we're gonna see how consistent things are we're gonna see how consistent good things job panda lee nobody complained when cat play games with dsp wait a minute always held us back was that the end of 2012 kind of true where i was blindsided by machinima when machinima contacted me after you know doing the youtube thing for two years and we said phil you know earlier in the year we gave you a raise and it was nice for everyone, but we screwed up. We're paying everyone too much money. Phil, yeah, we like Not your playthroughs, but we don't like Cat's commentary. Point, we can't afford to continue paying that you. That never happened. You. We have to give you a pay cut. And he's complaining about something and else. Like, and guess what? It's about money. Because I have a contract, and they're like, yeah, but it's basically a contract that in the clauses it says we could change it at any time, you know? You know? So it's not a consistent thing. It could go away immediately. 
So they were like, like, Phil, well, we're sorry. Or I take my chances going elsewhere, trying to find someone else who wants to do uh, contract me to do what I do. And I know that I, ultimately I made the right decision. The pay cut the was about DSP Street Fighter. Seen, I'll, I'll That's what the pay everyone. cut basically year, was. I was. And then I think nervous. we got the three prong plan, yeah. which never really happened. Uh, it was just was him being weird. Leaving Machinima because I thought if they want to give me another pay cut, I can't do that. You know? If there's competition now for Machinima. There's lots of companies out there that are doing this. He's pretending like deal, they want to sign them. You know, they're looking to, they're headhunting. Oh, yeah. Contacting me daily. Sure. At the end of they last were scams, year. So we're though. Interested. We heard the and DSP fell for them. We'll give you a, pay, a, a signing bonus, right? Yeah, we sign in really bonus. You. And I was like, well, this is interesting. We want you, DSP Gaming, DSP out, Space Gaming. We, actually read we have side on bonuses of $700,000. People to do, you know, gameplay videos and such. And the like. Uh, the pay is way less than what I make. The pay, I, I ended up getting into one of those earlier contracts when, you know, gamers were just starting to be able to do gameplay videos and monetize them on YouTube. You like that? In 2012, he was saying how he did it for free for two years and didn't make any money. And yeah, he did, but he literally couldn't make any money doing it. And then in 2014, he's telling you how he was on the fucking ground floor when it came to making money. He was one of the first motherfuckers to try to make money playing games. He's such... He loves gaming so much, man. He doesn't want to take advantage of the medium. And he appreciates it and respects it and would never do it for money. But when he had the ability to make money, when other people had the ability to make money, he was like one of the first fucking three people. First five people. First ten and people. Contract and, you know, the pay, I, he I needed it. He needed that bag. Earlier contracts he needed when, that bag. You know, gamers were just starting to be able to do gameplay videos and monetize them on YouTube. And my contract ended up paying out a lot more than what these people are making. Most people who are doing these gameplay videos, it's based off of ad revenue on their videos. So let's say, for example... Your videos for this month make $7,000 of ad revenue. Well, you get 60% of that, and the company gets 40%. So you get 60% of $7,000, right? And if you think about it, that's what? Three, four grand? Three, four grand a month to do gameplay We're videos? We're doing some that's real math. fucking good. That's pretty good. You know? But is it your fault if ad revenue plummets one month? Maybe. What if all of a sudden one month YouTube couldn't get the big ads, right? And because YouTube couldn't get the big ads, now you take a pay cut because YouTube didn't do their job good well. Wow. Right? That don't mean that, it's dude. Like, what that the fuck's wrong with you? It's not, it's not right. It actually punishes the content. That means YouTube creator. didn't do that job well. Than based off on what interest, uh, interesting You want YouTube They're to have out, like porn ads of, so they can stay consistent. You should job. fucking stream on Pornhub. And... From what I've seen, they have very consistent ads on porn websites. They're the same every fucking day. The last 20 years, probably. Probably. I can't go back said, that well, far. What kind of money are you guys pulling in? They told me, and I was like, you guys are not, you guys apparently don't Made me know think of that old ass EDP video. Talking about how long he'd been in a porn game. That's something Derek would talk about. I've been watching you for years. Love your content. Some fucking 50 year old. I'm doing. I think a lot of them were surprised with the contract that I have with Machinima. Of course, I can't disclose any specifics. Uh, I can't talk about it, but I'm just going to brag. Based off of views, I'm making a lot of money, but people are surprised videos, about it. How are people surprised about it if you can't even talk about and it? And based off of that, uh, I'm able to make a living. This it's is not about fluctuating ad revenue, okay? So at the end of 2013, I contacted Machinima and I said, Listen, guys, you know, last year you guys renegotiated my contract. You guys are fucking and idiots. A lot of people left Machinima. You got to give me more money, man. Left being partnered with Machinima because of the pay cut you gave everyone. I need to know are you looking at it again? And at that point, they crunched the numbers. What a weird email us in a Machinima. Y'all thinking about lowering my pacing? There's no impending. You thinking about paying me less anytime soon? Uh, no, Phil. No you can move across right the now. country. Uh, there are many people okay. you know, who are doing you know, way worse than me when it comes to ad revenue and, and red flags and like such who? that they said that, you know, those would be the people. And I was uh, not in line for right. They told them all of that contract renegotiation. I don't think problems. they said that. I think he might be putting words in their mouth. And uh, and so at the end of 2013, when they told me that, I was like, OK, well, then I think it's time. For this dude talk about money in all of his Christmas videos. Every fucking Christmas now, video is about money. Good before taxes go up again. Right. Get to go to a state where there's no state income tax, so immediately there's massive savings in my pocket, money that uh, I was pissing away when I lived yeah, in Connecticut. Yeah, sure. This all no worked benefit. out. Interesting camera angle. I near my parents. 
And, uh, and you know, and my friends and, and relatives. No benefit that were in that besides area. this shit I pretend to care about in hindsight. No and, benefit, uh, though. I made, I made that my priority. Except the, the people enough, he enough took advantage of wasn't the benefit. Stuff, enough with, I you agree. Know, if you think about 2013. Pandalee was so special, she needed to move across the country, uh, we though. We went to convention. We went to. I agree. His parents didn't want to because they were uh, stupid uh, or something, to, he called them. Uh, SGC. You know, all gaming, gaming and leisure type stuff. This year, leisure I type I came stuff. to Seattle to see what it was like here. I liked it to the point where I said, I want to live here. I came out here and looked at houses. Leisure style things. Well, we came out here and looked at houses. We found looked at houses. Is this the first word in a whole video? I well, feel like we it. We came out here and looked at houses. We found a house that we liked. We made an offer. We moved out here and that's it. We didn't spend any money on travel. No, he didn't make an offer. He paid what they wanted. Our focus was primarily on No, his offer was a dollar less. A nice place. And thank God we did it, right? Did you? It was incredibly fortunate, incredibly oh, lucky. Man. Ooh, right here's a perfect spot. He's so, so right thankful. Because we have the other two on the other side. Mm -hmm. We were incredibly lucky to be able to do it as fast as we did, to be able to successfully go through with it. A lot of people, unfortunately, can't find their house. They're the house that uh, they want. Why are we, we even say saying this? this? A dream house. There's a lot of things we'd love to improve, but we did pretty damn well for ourselves. You might as well say some people are starving every time we do a fucking feast with the king. There was a lot of things that we could have avoided. You know, there, there could have been massive problems. We could have ended up not getting maybe he would line. actually put there the food in the camera if he did that. that could have been issues he would appreciate it enough to show it held up everything and we lucked out to the point where we were able to within a, a few months period you know we came out here in april right found a house that we liked By look at this dude all the way on the back of the tree june we'd already closed gotta get the full clown set up find a place for this one here we go move right here and uh no it's still too close right here there we go <sighs> and by uh, July or June, July, we were we were out here. I'm sorry, we actually closed in uh, in May. Mm -hmm. And by June, we were living here. It's surreal. It, we've been living here since June. It's it's now almost December. I mean, I can't. It sure doesn't feel like that to me, right? Mm. Feels like we just we just moved in. Wow. We're still getting used to a lot. You of done stuff. bragging? You know, just recently, all of, of the so bathrooms we you got. For the first time. Oh, we turn on the heat for the first time. It snowed today for the first time. Mm -hmm. Wow, and it he didn't complain. Like East Coast snow, though. It was a nice little baby dusting on only the grass. Right. So what a different year 2014 was. Instead of me focusing on YouTube, yeah, he had to race to find a place to move into to do something kind of like some video game shit. Move. Legit. Once oh, I gotta get moved into this place before the new games come out. I gotta be done moving by the end of the summer. Legit. That's what it was. He's such an adult. 1080p quality. per second quality. Now that YouTube supports it, let's do live streaming at the absolute best quality. And at the same time, the best accessibility for everyone. Uh, okay. And ultimately, I think I succeeded at that. No. Uh, you know, and there were lots I mean, of yeah. blocks along the way. There were lots of bumps, issues with my internet, issues with people who weren't very accepting of change, even though ultimately it is my business, it is my product, it is he my He wanted videos, them to not be accepting the change because he told them that I they wouldn't like change, what he wanted to, to not do, it, and then he ended like up doing not, it. You, know, you guys happens, won't like it. It's going to look stupid. Better, it looks better the, the way I do it. Changes it. People complain people issues, oh before God, he change it, and then he call them stupid. You complain before you change it. People who've been in his videos for years, and he's leaving his family and his parents, and you know he's leaving his old setup and going to a different setup and is it going to be as good didn't panda like, do all oh of this to the sp leaving twitch to do his oh my god thing. he's leaving he's twitch for his he's drinking gin he's you know changing the way that he's i don't doing know if he things. did his own thing whatever that means and a lot of people fear that i thought he always did his own thing that, but at the same time in life you have to take these chances you can't be stagnant in business Ignore it? Yeah, I, I was how I do you even ignore this? Still been doing videos on my YouTube channel with a camcorder. An illogical a ignore camera. right there. No live streaming. The videos would literally we would have this next generation of consoles, PS4, Xbox One. The games would have looked horrible. The colors would have been all off. It would have been all blurry. No streaming. You said it looked better than direct capture DSP. That I was doing you it said wrong. It I'm a dinosaur, right? Right. So it's it's funny because every time I make a change, you're gonna have people who support it and people who disagree with it. Uh, ultimately, I gotta do what I feel is best for my business, and I think that moving out of Connecticut, going to Washington, uh, saving money on taxes, paying lesser prices overall, 
Eventually, where For I, was like, what? I can dump that condo in Connecticut. I can't do it right now. My aunt is living in it, which is nice <laughs> that I was able to do something positive. You don't even drive anywhere. What's we'll he paying less prices for? It, right? Gasoline? But, trash you know, cans? Ultimately, this is a $300 trash can in Connecticut. It's $200 it. trash can in Washington, Washington State. Here. Boom. And even Saved $100. A bunch of Just like that Christmas tree. How would $600 on a, on a label? But he only spent like $350 or $300 or something. Who knows, man? But he spent way less. He's saving a ton of money Came living to, in Washington. You know, furnishing this house. He would have spent six nice hundred if he was living in Connecticut. It right now, it is Dewey. Ultimately, you got the, the fireplace on the TV. I thought they had a real fireplace. Worth it. We need, we need both. You know, and you know, there's always going to be, like I said, there's always going to be people who don't understand that. People Idiots. Who don't disagree. Oh my God, there's Idiots. change. I hate it. I don't like it. I'm afraid. I'm nervous. Uh, why is he doing this? And it's funny because it's funny when you look at the people who react like that and it's like, well, were you watching me? Were you following me and myself and my content because you enjoyed my content and you enjoyed me as a person? Because that's what the whole point of it is. It's a fun guy who just is kind of playing games. He's not a pro or anything, but he's having fun with games and he rages. Why would you expect people to support this indefinitely? Gameplay. I thought it was okay to not support him indefinitely. You wanted to go on forums every day and talk to these certain people. This dude you basically to just told us that it's all right. That's a part of it. That's that not you, the ultimate. You know, it's all right that people though. stopped watching him over time. Is, Listen to him back then. The talking about people that stopped watching him. Or you, oh, I don't even watch Phil's content anymore. But I'll, I'll go on his website every I day. I thought it was okay to not watch him anymore, man. You can just move on. People grow up. all buddy buddy with everyone. And then, oh my God, he was going to leave Twitch. Well, oh, well, fuck Phil. He doesn't oh. care about the fans. No, you didn't care about me or my content or my business. Oh, okay. Ultimately, I do. So what about when he went back to Twitch then? Because they're positive. Because I know they're going to come out in the end as the right decisions. These but, voluntary you know, changes. so afraid, so afraid of change that ultimately because the staff showed up and told him to lower his bit rate point of the whole thing and then he went back when they had the bits and gifted year. subs this whole year was a huge transitional change holy for shit me. moving out of connecticut moving in with liana what a positive life dsp leads he didn't even have to work to be partnered again they just like you used to be partnered christmas tree you're partnered again in a beautiful house heck, 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 heck. But, you know I can't. it's okay he can't get partnered now even if he wanted to you know, my, my parents are coming to visit next week. They're going to be week, affiliate for seven months like Della. For Christmas. The equipment's working daily. I'm able to do my, and never my, be able my to change gameplay. Emails. That's my living. So I'm having fun in that regard. Then you he can complain about that. He would actually complain about that on every stream. It's a different kind I'm still not partner yet, guys. Absolutely. They gave me my affiliation back. So that means I can get, like, you know, contributions from your subs and your bits. But because I'm not a partner. Out of control. It's surreal. It's still to this day. After six years, you do that for three months. I still wake up in the morning and I say, holy shit, I'm about to go play video games all day and have fun. And people are going to watch and enjoy. And, and then you can uh, and stream on kick spread the word and and you know and i get messages every day about phil your 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 gameplay is you know so entertaining and what? I understand that you know there are days when i feel terrible and i just turn on your stuff and it makes me feel great and that's what keeps this me fucking going stupid and the fact speech. That I still make money doing it it's wild you know and there's a lot of people also i'll say this there's people who say oh but phil don't you you you're so naive didn't you see that there's a decline you go to, that, that you go to youtube oh but phil there's a decline. They're not making as big money as they did anymore. And, you know. I'm making enough, your videos, man. Your videos don't I'm get still doing good. Views as they used to Is that what he's going to say? Wait a minute. I'm still making money. I'm still I'm making money. I'm doing good. Out here this year and do this. I'm still doing all right. I'm in no financial jeopardy. That's not the point means. they're making, DSP. So what are you Literally not that point. Yeah, I'm not making crazy big money. No, yeah, so, so they're correct on what they're saying. YouTuber. It's what you're care. saying. Oh, now you don't care. You don't care about making a lot of money. Is that why he played every game day one? And they had his annoying girlfriend talking in the background because he needed to fucking make the money that day he needed to play that game hey guys if you like my videos, subscribe and spread yeah he do that now though when do i ever do that he should have did it back then seriously then he wouldn't have to do it now i was the guy who just makes now he's actually begging for like some blowing bubbles videos you know to get 100 likes from the same 85 people every day now that have found youtube as an avenue to share their, their their own personalities and themselves as a way to at least he's able to share his personality still people to watch now of course the viewership is splintered and of course he didn't even have to go towards the lowest go out of his way to get his channel back every thing act, act, act. in the world it always happens 
You know, am I now? Am I saying I'm the the biggest, most intellectual gamer on the planet? Absolutely not. Who would say that? But you know, the the the, the morals that I pride myself on. Like and, what? You know, I'm no advertisements, things, maybe. No shilling. Able to make a living doing it. Fucking morals. So be it. People who disagree with it, people who hate on me, whatever. I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. All right. Nice big old smack. The rest of my voice will come back. Continue to decorate the tree. And uh, I want to talk about a lot of positives. Yeah, the positives video is 11 minutes long. The year in review is basically all negatives. It's weird that the year in review video isn't called negatives, but it's 24 minutes long. The next video is the positives, which wouldn't that be a part of the year in review? Didn't he already brag during his video? He literally bragged during his video. So what's he going to tell us in this video? I moved in with my girlfriend in Texas, Aloha. Come on, man. <sighs> okay, everyone. So now... Okay, everyone. All right, here we are. Out and in. Okay. And smacking. Hey, we nothing this time. Command. Well, and breathing. Very loudly. Okay, everyone. So now, as we're finishing up with the ornaments on the tree, and as we finish this, then we'll work on the star, and that'll be it. We're gonna go to uh, uh, what I'd like to talk a little 2017? bit about. Twenty seventeen. You know, we dwelled upon this year in the past, which is sadly gonna just be him sitting on his couch uh, talking about myself, like Vidar or something. Content, the future of, uh, you know, what I want to do with my presence, my following, my you know, my viewership on YouTube, on uh, on my streams. Uh, the bottom line is that the past few years, I really feel like I've been stuck doing a cycle of daily gameplay and nothing else. And what I mean by that is... You don't have to explain this. Wake up, you know, get ready for whatever Wake up, I'm do. drink, sit down, do, drink, stop pull up, doing drink. Stop what I'm doing now and not consistently be putting out the stuff that people want to see. Oh, he's going to pretend to want to like go on little trips you know, and shit. All right, fair enough. 2011 and 2012 that ended up getting canceled because the people who were doing the filmography for me and the video editing couldn't do it anymore. It was too time consuming. Yeah, why they not? Weren't getting anything out of it. Oh, they weren't getting anything out of it. So, that sounds suspicious. What did you get out of it? You know, it's kind of some of the ideas. Did those videos have ads? For next year. New did you have a BMW? Just raw gameplay anymore. Um, you know, not to say that I'm not. Going I think to do he had a BMW. Gameplay, that's my bread and butter. Did right? they get that's a BMW? Who pays the bills. But if I can diversify myself, I feel that this year, in the year of 2014, I've actually diversified myself. Here's the star. I guess I'll take it out. When it comes to actual content in regards to vlogging, if you actually look at my vlog videos from this year. No. With the Berg Eden the videos? Live podcast. Right? Wow, what a great podcast. I thought he didn't have a podcast until recently. He used to have a podcast in 2015. Renewed and is huh? Now consistently coming out again. This dude, uh, Markin, is so fucking trash, man. He's legit He's legit worse than a game dev. He's like, we have this new feature. Never been seen in any game before. And it's like, hit stick. And it's like Madden 2020, they're talking about hit sticks new. And you're like, wait a minute. Bro, I was hit sticking in like fucking middle school. That's DSP. He's like, man, this new thing. I never did it before, you guys. And then he snarts into the mic. Projects that I've been working on. Pretty cool, huh? On the King of Hate vlogs. That channel's doing better. This than is I brand ever did new. Last year. It was kind of a slow start. This year, it really brand new up. thing. And I want to do that kind of stuff more consistently now. A oh, fucking podcast. Gameplay, 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 gameplay every day. He was you know diversifying I mean? himself. He was diversifying himself with a podcast in 2014. Well, letting that sound familiar. Uh, <laughs> Gameplay can work to a certain Now he's extent. saying he's got to do this because he's getting old. So now that's why he's got a podcast. To talk about fucking Twitter all day. Not the end all and be all. Uh, of he should talk about uh, do, LTG being Ben. Honestly. Shit, he already games, did. Never mind. I want to just play games forever. I want to do creative stuff. And have creative outlet to And in DSP stuff. being a bad person, of that course, he's of part way. of the dog pile. Same thing uh, he did with fucking Toby years. Turner. Yeah, I know people That's shit on this guy because they're not shitting on, on me. I'm going to shit on him too. 15. Whoa. I can't wait till everybody and, shit uh, on you again, DSP. Today, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm sure there's going to be a project. Don't worry. I'm still going to be shitting on you in between. I live in Seattle. Okay, 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 okay. There's going to be Emerald City Comic Con. Emerald City Comic Con is a large scale. Man, what is this camera right now? Why is it slanted? Dad, Legit, Seattle, why is it slanted right for real? Seattle, I'm standing up right now, looking at this Seattle, like this is kind of fucking lame. Me, why is it slanted? Hold it up, dude. Gaming, there's television, 
that's going to be a fun event to attend. Uh, attend. But now that we lived here for a while, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into, for Amazing. example, all the events that are going on in Seattle. How did Jade survive these videos? There's no chance that's going to stay like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe this uh, video fucked their brain up yeah, even take more. Take a look at all the events that are going on in it Seattle and see what are ones that we want to attend. What are things that we want to do here? Yeah, Please DSP's been a podcaster for like almost a decade. Fun stuff with I didn't know. And other stuff, filmography and stuff. I no wonder he's so good at it. That's some of the stuff that I want to look into. And I couldn't do back in Connecticut, that's for sure. Because it wasn't a major city, it wasn't a happening place, you know? A major city well, and happening place. place. What decade so, is it? And what are you trying to do? Is he an artist? Is he trying to, to, to like blow up as a rapper? Sure. I think actually it's supposed to face this. He moved to the wrong part of the West Coast. I don't know. Either way, just getting it upright is yeah. going to be half of the work. Let's see this. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, no new tree star this year. Don't even see them in stores anymore. Yeah, the ones that are there are garbage. What about online? This is the one we bought last year, but I don't know if it's going to fit this tree. Didn't he buy the tree online? Why they couldn't buy a star online? That support, What? You know what I mean? Yeah, it, Dude. it only goes halfway down on the top branch. <clears throat> Hmm. You bragged about buying a tree online. No <laughs> you couldn't get a star online. The, the top branches wrapped you could have got a King of Hate star online. Maybe what we can do is have the wire. With him waving goodbye on it. I don't think this is going to work. Damn, this is taking a long time. Or maybe... Hey, that could have been a jump yeah, cut. This is actually here. unfair. Multiple minutes. From here it looks straight. Oh, I'm going to reach it. Whoa. He's gonna hurt himself. I could have fit He's gonna slip a disc. He said, How am I gonna reach it? So well, I'm gonna reach it. And then I'm gonna plug it in. Like that. Ta da! Like, just for my health wise, I was up to over 240 pounds. Why are we. And now I'm 190 something. Whatever. And still, you know. And still probably gonna. And now I'm We get a Ralph a male moment. Because this dude wear them tiny ass shirts all day. And he's still wearing them, pimp. He's never gonna get bigger shirts. Why would he get bigger shirts? He's not gaining weight. <laughs> and, and still, you know. And still probably gonna go down a little. You're gonna go up a little because of the holidays. Putting on the we get a good sniff food, in. But and he ignored it. Well, at least it's it's staying out there now. So yeah. He's been know, 190 been pounds year, for what seven a years? Year in a lot of ways, but it's a very positive year. No matter how suspicious he looked, he We're always wore the same. Wear the same. And he used to weigh time. way more, man. He used to be so fat. Oh, it's perfect. It's higher quality resolution. It's just keeping it's himself in check. For second, everything on YouTube looks great. The streams, more people can watch the streams than ever before. People used to complain about Twitch. The one thing that was lost was the, the Twitch chat. Yeah, Which fuck like, Twitch chat. Get Twitch him chat. out. Guess what? Twitch Come to IRC. IRC. So everyone who complains and says, oh, we don't have the chat anymore. Yes, you do. You can actually do more with the chat that we've created. It just doesn't look pretty yet. You, know, you factually couldn't do more. Words. And he never added the stuff to let you do more. He talked about it for like three years. Guys, we're working on it. Soon, you'll be able to use emotes in the IRC chat. And I won't have to voice you guys anymore. You'll just be able to sign in and come in the stream. And you'll be able to talk and use emotes. He said that shit for like two, three fucking years. And then he just went back to Twitch. And then he come back to YouTube. Now YouTube got emotes and he could charge for them. Let's fucking go. It all worked out. Imagine thinking DSP would do something. And even if somebody's literally doing it for him, it still don't get done. He's just going to talk about it for three years. It's probably impossible to even bring that chat back if you wanted to. So you've seen all the it's just buried in some settings. fucking trash can of code somewhere. This is Twinkling? Twinkling. I forget who was supposed to do it. He used to always name drop the dude that was working on it. And then it was like, oh, well, he's not working on it because he's going to school right now. He's got stuff going on in real life. I like that a lot. Oh, well, I'm back, I'm back at Twitch now, man. So it doesn't matter. Jesus, no. Hold on. It's called Firefly. It's better than Twitch chat. Like sure it was, Grandpa. The properly. So? It's, it's like saying what, sending an actual letter is better than sending nice. an email. And you're talking Bullshit. about ease and convenience. Yeah, that actually 
actually works. What are you too. complaining about, it's man? People are like, oh, we gotta write a letter and give it to a fucking courier. Um, yeah, it's way better than fucking email. <laughs> Nah, not feeling it. It's a vintage DSP rant. Yeah, right. these fucking idiots, right? right? No, They're using no, this no thing called the email. So if you don't know what an email is, it's apparently this new type of technology where you electronically mail people. Like, think you know how you write a letter, and you like, you know, you lick the envelope, you put it in, you like put the letter in the envelope, you mail it. You maybe have to buy some stamps, but this is different. You don't have to spend anything. You can just type as much as you want. You can send pictures sometimes, and I'm like, why would anyone want to do this? The normal mail system works perfectly fine. Why do we need to make everything fucking complicated? So I'm not gonna do it. I'm not signing up for one of these new email services. I heard uh, Yahoo has one. Yahoo? What the fuck is Yahoo? And we're very appreciative. Um, and, uh, so, uh, we'll yeah, you, you guys are telling yours. me to, like, make an email. I'm not gonna do it. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Heck, 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 heck. We hope to... About Snort. <laughs> I said happy holidays. <laughs> happy <laughs> holidays includes all So, the if you want me to make an Merry email, Christmas, I can tell you... I say because it is the happy holidays. One most celebrated and go freak yourself. In this time of year, worldwide, and in the United States... And also, it's the one that we celebrate, so I will focus on it. So there. Meh. Yeah, you don't say that now. Thanks because everyone. I don't know. Because he's uh, you. annoying. I will see you. you can just not say anything. You don't have so, to have a voice about I'm everything. Not anywhere, right? Every day, he definitely don't. Content. And uh, I hope that you'll join me, whether it's uh. for my gameplay videos, my live streams, my vlogs, my game reviews. My nice little promotion at the end. That I'm very much Watch all of my new stuff. On, no matter what it is. Relationship fails. Merry Christmas. New Happy streaming, holidays. new girlfriend, and Sweet text you. nightmare. You think these got timestamps? I like the audio difference. Let's see. It's already on the way out the door. Could have been worse. -E the SP mic still worked in 2017. Games, and I went crazy on the commentary. I was no timestamps. And my, vo my voice is now very hoarse. Top comment is suspicious. Phil needs major help. He should sell a house and sell whatever stuff he can. He absolutely doesn't need. And she's the profit to pay off the mortgage. Those business tax bills, blah, 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 blah. This is the top comment from four years ago. Like, I don't even know if, like, you know, he definitely didn't need to do that. He just fucking championed up a bunch. So, was this even good advice? Sometimes I think about this. People that told him to sell everything years ago, was it even good advice? What If he did it, would it have been good advice? Because it worked out, man. Because I went nuts the, with the commentary. I knew that was going to happen. That happens every year. So, you know, got the lozenge going here. Oh, you know, great. Probably, Mouth crazy. sounds. 2010. And that was the year, if you guys remember, that I had an office the job. The Christmas Dragon. An office job for about five years. I had gotten commendations at this job being told. Dude. I was he talking about that fucking job he lost in 2010, in 2017. He talked about that job in 2012 for Christmas and in 2014 for Christmas. Probably in 2015 and 2016 for Christmas. And you know what? He probably talked about it at some point in the last week in 2022. Maybe he didn't talk about it for his Christmas event this year. Probably didn't, but he also didn't do a sit on the couch and talk video for Christmas this year either. <clears throat> he, he just Thank took a shot for $100. Wow. Wow. Gentlemen, Did you see it pop up? My Muxy, oh, I yeah, it is. A $1,000 tip. Remember that? Um, Did you see it? Did you see it pop up? I don't think it even popped up. His notifications was fucked up. Yeah, his notifications was fucked up. The thousand dollar don't know literally didn't pop up. He says, did you see it? Did you see it pop up? It didn't pop up. And then later in the stream, he fixes the notifications. And of course, he never replay in it. Did you guys see it? <laughs> did you guys see it? Or so fucking did it not chill. Pop up? Did it not pop up? Did the thousand dollar tip pop up on Holy the screen? Shit. All right, so sucks to be them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Thank you, tell Planet you this. Jeff. This, I don't know if this is. We'll find out later today because I'll be able to check my 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 PayPal and everything. He could check it now. He check Holy his PayPal fuck. instantly now. Um, but back then, he gotta wait till later in the day. This dude's so fucking shady. I just wow. Thousand dollar tip from Santa Claus. What a shady streamer. Wow. Uh, 
If this is legitimate, thank, thank you. you. No, really, thank you. Really, thank you. If this is legitimate, with the lozenge mouth still, so he's actually smacking. Troll trying to commit thank fraud you. On PayPal with a credit card. And then they get negged. But if that yeah, is hopefully it's real. I hopefully mean, you didn't fucking defraud me. Holy shit. Is that going to help? Because I'm about to explain in this Hopefully your thousand dollars you gave me is real. Hopefully. Help if that's legitimate. Thank you, you so fucking much, idiot. I mean, I you cool Claus, guy. So they, they chose to do anonymous tip. So I don't know if I'll be Did able you to see a pop up? Was. Yeah, he um, could tell who it was. But anyway, their message anyway. is, here's Santa's present for you to help with your tax predicament. Wow, Another thanks. Years of great entertainment. Wishing you and all of your fans and viewers a Merry Christmas and the best for the new year. I like wow. the Teespring link at the top. Wow. Wow. Well, if, again... I hope it's legit. But he didn't have the Muxy link Thank like very, on the very, screen. Very, 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 he didn't know anybody very, else. Very, very, very much. Really. Really. Um. Thank you. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. That's crazy. He's looking at his PayPal. 2017, what a year it was. First of all, just so you guys know, to give you some perspective of how 2017 started, it already was tumultuous for me because every year typically at the end of the year, between the months of September to December, all right, on YouTube, I used to see Ad revenue. a giant increase in viewers, viewers to make it so that I can make it through this year. And that's why, if you remember, in January of 2017, I did the Dark Souls Redemption run. I did this idea where, man, if I go back... What an amazing did, idea to play a game that you didn't do good at the first time you played it. Damn, bro, you fucking hyper-intelligent. This dude, Giga Brain. Not Giga Brain. Giga Brain. Where you don't have that interactive experience. Sometimes when you're highly intelligent, you, you, you pronounce so words uh, different. That I saw, and I was like, man, you know, if I were, and it was funny because some people were actually saying, I wonder if Phil's just gonna become a full time streamer at this point because look how much better this event was. Whoa, was did they say this? And you know, if I were, and it was funny because some these people these headmates be going saying, crazy. I, I wish I had these. Gonna become a full time streamer at this point, man. Tevin's stream was so good, I just he's wonder if he's gonna do it later. Man, <laughs> it was such a fun stream. Videos for YouTube. And then we take a sip. That maybe this year I would want to focus more on streaming than anything else. <laughs> People were like, point, it was such a good event. I wonder if Phil's going to be a full-time streamer now. So what fucking event? Mindset, I'm going to keep doing YouTube full-time. And that's what we play Fortnite with. Continue on. All right. And he's wobbling. So, then February came. What and happened in February? Folks, I, this is something I've never Cat. talked about. All right. Behind the scenes, just so you guys know. Cat. My relationship with my He stole somebody's uh, girlfriend. We're at a point in our relationship. And I'm not going to get too private because it's a very private situation. Let's just say this way. Over the years that we've been together, things had changed dramatically in our lives. Yeah, she grew up and you didn't. Life, um, whatever that means. Family, put it that way. She um, stopped being this anime. That it happened to me that negatively affected my ex-girlfriend, put a big strain on her. All right. In particular, <clears throat> the swatting incidents that happened in 2015. I know we're a big game changer. Why didn't you talk about it in 2015 or 2016? Oh, because you didn't break up then. I mean, you did, but you got to talk about it again in 2017. Okay, fair enough. Any proof it happened? Uh, no. Uh, nice people don't ask for proof. Believe everybody. Father, okay, who had nothing whatsoever to do with any of our, our shit. And then there were threats to swap her, her brother-in-law or her, uh, her half brothers. The thumb. Uh, Massive winning. thumb. And when that happened, it was like so messed up, all right? And honestly, you know, things were never the same. Man, when some random people happened, threatened to do something online, it was so messed up. In life in a relationship. Yeah, man. And it was just so, because, you know, how, do you, how are you ever going to have a safe life? How are you ever going to have a secure life? You know, you never okay, know. that's, that's you know, just that. I that to you guys on a daily basis. It takes its toll. And literally over years, what happened is our relationship kind of just fell apart. You just blame the trolls on like breaking up with Pandolito, low-key. I basically can pay my bills for one month, and if I don't make more money... So and I was talking it, about money. So it's the trolls' fault and money's fault. Maybe she wasn't in for you, bro. If you gotta have right. a bunch of money, and people now gotta to like you for you to fucking be with her. At the time, remember, I've been partnered with Machinima on YouTube... Just saying. ...for the longest since 2011. And I think I it's a pretty so honest now, statement. You know, this is ridiculous. I'm not making a lot of money and everybody don't like me. You don't want to be with me no more? Go fuck Their yourself. Nobody liked you anyway. Because they didn't want negative and he called them all okay. sexist. <clears throat> Congrats. Is so DSP sexist because they don't like Pandalini anymore? Uh, February 2017. Maybe. Uh, I think DSP is sexist. No. Halves, I don't he is. Know be able to pay my bills anymore. I Wait, the pillows are still on the back. Literally, you know what? I'm Nothing. Not even, uh, <laughs> the I'm pillows she bought. Literally treating me like dirt. Like, whatever. We'll look into it, but... Stop bothering us. Yeah, they didn't That's say that. Kind of the response I got. Kind of the kind response. Of like, you know, kind of. Important to you, but just stop bothering us. We'll get to you back to you when we feel like it. And I'm like, what? This is my life. The equivalent of a response that say, "Thank you. We'll look into it." That's he turning that shit into whatever he just said. Like this whatever. dude was like fucking thirty-seven we'll or something. It, but stop bothering us. 
That's the kind of the man, man, man. Said, no, I'm what an honest them, guy. I'm gonna stick with them. And I stuck up for them for six years. Just making up what people say sudden, to him all the time. Like this is the oh, same well, dude that lied about so what a fucking journalist we'll talked to him we'll about. Out, like he's right? a dishonest person. He's and literally dishonest about everything. And getting literally no answers whatsoever. I told the fact he had to get recorded by that dude to be called out on what he said. It's like, nah. Don't believe anything DSP say when he say somebody else said. He's a liar. He always lies. But what if he wasn't lying? They had no ability He's to lying. YouTube and get any answers because YouTube just even if it's not him lying on purpose and they have he's no still lying. Plan. So they really they, their hands were tied. Well, they kind of basically well, said this. Mistreated. They were kind of like pretty much saying you're stupid happened. and that they don't I like me. The, the former head of the partner program who I directly worked with about a dozen times in 2015. Yeah, this was two years ago. 2016 on issues just like this. Whether oh, or you only talk to him when you're having problem. Good job. Whatever. I got a form letter email back saying this person is no longer with the company. Right I thought now. they said to leave us alone. So I did. Didn't they say don't the bother day, us? I literally got an insulting email from Machinima saying, you know, you're already in contact with us, with us on this issue. Don't go around us and try to write other people in other departments. We're already wow, so insulting. You. How dare you? How? Yeah, and they didn't like, say how dare you. Who are you to speak to me like that? You're basically disrespecting You can tell what words he added in, mind. and you can tell what stuff he's just bullshitting you about. You can fucking figure basically out what these people like probably told us, dude, in real life. Not to try to seek out but they didn't tell him this. And that's what I told him. I said, I don't want to work with you anymore. Like, seriously, if this is how I'm going to be treated, I don't want to work with you anymore. Wow, how and, responsible. And so at that point, I guess Machinima decided, gee... Forget it, since this guy looks like he's going to give us bad press anyway. Let's get rid of him. You and said you didn't want to be there anymore. He said, I don't want to be with you anymore. The and then they get rid of him. And I was like, well, I mean, that's fine. what you that's, wanted, right? That's kind of what I want anyway. Yeah. Since you guys aren't helping me at all. Kind of. Right? And then now, he got more lines, not help. He proceeded to not get any more help. Had, and he was um, asking his chef for help, too. Had, if you guys know anybody at YouTube, you used to know somebody at YouTube. And you told him to stop leaving, to stop bothering you, leave you alone. Hold on. This is perfect because Nick. No, it's not. To, uh, Nick actually tipped me a dollar and he said the following. He says, Phil. Fucking pineapple you head. Leaving Machinima was a bad choice. You were getting a managed partnership and the falling out Nick. was over something stupid. No, it wasn't. Nick sucks. The falling out was not over something stupid. Yeah, it was. It, being disrespected by a company that's supposed to be. He should have showed the emails. Up for you. A partnership company is basically supposed to be like your agent. They're supposed to stick up for Why you. Why is it in quotes then? Opportunities for you. They're supposed nah, they're to not supposed to do that. Revenue. You could get an actual agent to do that. Company. Basically, you told, you talk to like a child and being told, we don't care about your concerns. Don't go to anyone Machinima else. didn't really do a good job, I enough guess. Then. Enough That was, I knew going forward was going to be a toxic relationship with them. And that's why I, I knew I had to get out of there. All right. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> I had another company who I'd been talking with behind the scenes. The scam company? Years, no. All right. Some other company. And this company. Damn, that's really shady. On board with a that he admits to this too. The only thing was so he was with. Me. Remember, he told us he was staying loyal to Machinima, and that's why he didn't leave. He was set, he was so fucking loyal to Machinima. He was talking to another company behind the scenes for two years the whole time. Uh, what? Slightly, by the way, I that don't sound that loyal to me. <clears throat> this is a relationship that would be called guys, cheating. <clears throat> Yesterday I did the WWE stream. I went a little bit overboard. So oh, stop it. Media accounts so badly. So loyal, man. That they had an internal meeting with the higher ups of the company discussing whether or not they would still be able to partner me. And everyone at the company wanted me to be there and partner with them. And but because they were an up and coming company, they're not a huge. Co they're not like Curse. You know what I mean? They're not a big company that is immune to all that stupid shit. They were afraid. That because this trolling happened within two days, all right, of me seeking partnership with them, and the fact that they knew that there would be ongoing attacks and stuff against them, they were literally afraid that they wouldn't be able to continue. Like, they'd get negative association. That Dark Side fills with this smaller company. This company is just known as a toxic company. How long is it going to take for them to make and this so one they point? they actually rescinded their offer to partner me. Okay, now he's done. Which had been a two-year standing offer to partner me under a managed partnership. They rescinded the offer because they didn't. It was too much of a liability for them being a smaller company. I like how shady that whole thing is. Okay. What a fucking real, real and truthful, so again, honest guy, and loyal. I mean, all this stuff going on, a direct result of these people who've just been so out to hurt me in my life, who I've never met, who I knew nothing about. It's a fucked up situation. <laughs> all right, it just is. It's a really fucked up. No, situation. nothing about. It's a bit um, of a stretch. So now he act like you know everything about everybody too. Situation where not all the only time. am I out of my partnership 
with Machinima, I now can't even get the partnership with the company who I had lined up to be. Why well, didn't any get that name drop? Work with because of the nastiness and shit that had been happening to me. Okay. Who knows? Um, He's playing champions right now. It was a really fucked up situation. So now I'm faced with a situation where situation. I need to try to find another partnership. And I'll be real with you guys. I seeked out with about four different companies. Yeah, it was Laveria. Okay. They reviewed all my information and saw, oh, Maybe. this is Dark Side Phil. This is the same guy who already streamed with us for years, went away and came back, and now he's doing good on streams. This guy's what, curse? reliable. Let's do it. Oh, and they Twitch. partnered me. And because of that, at least now I was making less money. Yeah, I don't know if they said all, all of this stuff, but I'm glad that you want to pretend that they did. Saved my butt temporarily. Yeah, Phil used to stream with us years ago, and he has a great reputation and a good fan base, and he just so, wants to play games, and he doesn't want to be a hot tub streamer. So we should repartner him. To go back to Twitch. Man, it's great to hear you fucking events, make everything up about your life. Even though it's so fucking positive, you still make everything up. He's like a rapper. Thank, thank you, you. To everyone who was in touch with everything going on on the internet thank you to those of you who gave me a really amazing advice you guys literally saved my ass this year in, in more ways than even though he told them same people people will say go to twitch twitch is the magic bullet twitch will just fix everything twitch will just fix everything okay first of all bullshit and that's what i'm gonna call it bullshit because going to Twitch isn't going to fix anything. And then by the end of the same year, thank you. You told me you gave me good advice. Thank you. The Great advice. We'll talk about as we continue. Thank you for the advice. Right. Um, but I thought he went to Twitch because his OBS messed out. up. Whoa, DSP, shout you lied about Bidar, something. You just make random shit up, man. I don't know what that stupid fucking storyline was. My OBS settings reset, so I'm going to try streaming on Twitch. Oh, wait, I can get a bunch of bits and give the subs. I love it here. Oh, wait, I went to Twitch because other people told me to. Huh? Why couldn't you just, can't you just do what you want to do and say you're doing it because you want to do it? I thought you used to do that. Whatever. Thank you, Vidal. Is usually about your personal life. And more often, it's just fabricated news and stuff that, you know, it's not true. If you're not a troll that wants to believe shit, you don't trust it. So basically, yeah, what? Right, if you're not a negative person seeking out to be negative and to be nasty towards someone, it was too wordy. you wouldn't trust the misinformation about me all over the internet. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of the stuff that's been negative said about me on the internet over the years, if you do... Y'all no think DSP trusts negative information about, research, for instance, Kim Kardashian? Phil stole yeah, money the, 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 he do. That's a trick question. But people that don't know him supposed to just not believe bad stuff about him because they don't know him. They got to do research. The truth and see how completely different the truth is. Uh, they want to do that. They want to believe whatever. the negative and the nasty. If you're that kind of person that you spend your life wanting to. Oh, now it's about spending your life on people, this. You have something inside. Well, yes. If your whole life is about it. But what if you make money on it? What if they make a living doing it? Oh, shit, DSP. What if they run TMZ? What if your whole life about playing games that you never learn how to play and you hate on them all day? Is that okay? Maybe. I fucking hate video games. Take a sip. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. So... During the month of He's like, man, if you're an awful person up, and you waste every waking moment of your fucking life worried about if I fucking took a shit, then you're a fucking loser. <laughs> what am I supposed to say about this? All right, at least in regards to the business, I'm not. What do you care about, DSP? Oh, the sky isn't falling. The sky isn't falling. And I'm able to be partnered with Curse in March, so things are going better. The sky right, never falling for your boy. I'm not in a mode where I'm in panic mode and I may completely lose everything. But when is he in panic mode? When was he ever in panic mode? Isn't resolved. Because I'm pretty sure he was in panic mode in 2017. I'm pretty sure we were trying to save the house in 2017. I need to find a way to get out. I'm pretty sure we first started having donation goals in 2017. I am going to take the advice of many people, and I'm going to try to make streaming. What is panic mode? If you guys aren't aware, it was actually the second week of March 2017 on the game commenting on the game commenting on the game and not paying any attention to anything around me and changing that style into a more interactive style that had become more popular on twitch yeah and now he's shoehorned into talking to jade all day and Derek. to people who are cheering subbing and tipping and even to the point even to the point where sometimes on his daily rap 
or his I'm done streaming so I'm talking for a little bit sessions he'll say something like nobody was really talking to me except for like maybe Derek or Jade that happened super recently and I'm thinking to myself dude that's every stream all of your fucking playthroughs are just you talking to two weird people all day for their contributions right it was a big change for me it's interactive he shouldn't like, even I've upload it to YouTube it's so fucking me. lame so for nine years, I've been doing things a certain It only way. have value at that exact so moment in time. Try to adjust my style that exact moment when he responded to them exact people. And, and then after that, it has no well, fucking value. Wild, people were saying some wild it's people nothing to watch. It's not entertaining. It's not interesting. It's not fun. It's not funny. It's nothing, bro. It's actually worthless. This is wild. I'm trying to play a game. And he don't answer these questions like this anyway. What do you think about politics, Phil? You know what? Especially if you're playing a game where there's not a lot going on, it makes sense to kill the downtime with that kind of stuff, to fill it with the, that kind of content. Um, oh, yeah, to ask him about honest, what he ate every day now, too. Right now, I've been playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. But, yeah, good for it's been reasons. like five years of that every day. Because the game's so buggy on Xbox One, so much crazy shit happens, it's always entertaining to watch. But number two, there's a lot of dead time where you're just running around by yourself collecting items and looting, and that's time to interact with people in the stream chat. That's why the game became so virally popular on Twitch, because it's a game that half and half, it's half interaction with your stream chat and half zaniness, all right? <clears throat> so, that being said, folks, um, I struggled in March to make myself more interactive, and I'll be honest, it was stressful. It what about the other half of PUBG when you actually went in the game? A, a more dedicated or maybe even people shoot people streams and be more interactive with me more on a regular basis <laughs> my schedule changed a lot you might as well watch fucking try not to laugh videos all day and i saw honestly even more of a disconnect he could legit just do that all day it was and then talk to jade and derek work. and laugh and have fun house, you don't even have to buy games everything and, and he can get his interactions too behind the scenes with my girlfriend all right then and a thumb for the ex-girlfriend again all right um I basically looked back at how things had gone in March, and things had gone really well. Money? I went from making, like, no money whatsoever on Twitch to making Sandwich a hands. decent amount. Was it, oh, my God, my my revenue jumped ginormously, and I was making... It, it literally so did, though. Fist on Twitch. No. Wasn't he doing prayer hands in the beginning of this, saying, if you gave me advice, and the advice was to just go to Twitch. That was the advice. If you gave me good advice, thank you. But he's realizing, well, I still like gotta beg a lot, so I can't act like I'm making too much. It was like zero from a hundred. Him going to Twitch, man. And YouTube just became more toxic, more toxic towards me, more nasty. And he downplayed the fuck out of everybody. Just don't even talk about money if you're gonna actually downplay the people I give you anything. Did you see? Did we see signs of any whales tonight on my stream? No. Some people support it, right? Like, but it wasn't like hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, DSP? these people are doing is nasty viral shit against me for their own sake that was the thing Do I really like seriously what the fuck is wrong with you the people making those videos were doing it because they hated me i don't think so i think the reason they were doing it because they were getting and it's some kind of weird connection and i'm too dumb to connect it but in the beginning of, of the drinking stream he told us oh even if you want to give me a thousand dollars don't send a thousand send a hundred and 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 a hundred. If you want to make me take two shots, don't send two hundred. Send a hundred and a hundred. Isn't that weird for DSP to request? You know it is. I know it is. Everybody know it is. And then we get to the end of the stream and he's like, did we see whales? Did we see hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip, hundred dollar tip? I mean, no. But you requested it. What if somebody wanted to give him 500 but didn't want to give him 105 times? What if he wouldn't allow them to do it? Apparently, they weren't allowed to do it. He only wanted one type of whale. He was from negative assholes. You didn't see $100 tip, $100 tip, $100 so, tip. You know, I knew YouTube... It's some weird connection, though. Like, I can't figure it out all the way. Like, I don't know what he was really trying to get, get to happen. The he defeated us and defeated the month, trolls, month, but I don't know what he did. Nothing on Twitch to making a decent I got beat so like, bad, I don't even know how I lost. This, things could really turn around, okay? And so it was actually April on. And then right after he go on his speech about not having whales, which is an amazing speech for a streamer to go on. Is he like on OnlyFans or something? Right after he go on his speech about that, the next day, 
He gets 50 get their members from one person and then 50 from another person. So 100 from two people. That is, is this whale? Is this a whale? I don't know. I need DSP to tell me. Were they, were they whales? I changed my focus completely to be, I want to be a stream oriented guy. I want to be a guy. <clears throat> DSP know what a when whale is now. When I come out to stream. That's my focus to entertain the people on stream. To, it was no sign uh, of a whale, right? You guys what does that mean, DSP? Feels more interactive. I'm an honest so fan. What does this fucking weird lingo get, mean? That's going to get more people to come to the streams every day, and it's going to make things great. And I'll be honest, my, from then on, for the rest of every month, more subscribers, more viewers, more revenue. Every single month. Yeah, that didn't continue to be true. He's doing uh, Italian graph hands. Holidays. Thanks for being you, man. If you haven't tried mead before, I think you'd enjoy it. Skull. Maybe. One day. But big ups, JB, the behemoth, for the 669. Isn't mead with like a, a pirate drink? Better, 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 better. Okay? Um, and I couldn't be happier. Or an old, dog. like, uh, old well, British dude. While all that was going on, right? While all that was happening, behind the scenes with my ex-girlfriend, things were Okay, Vikings. They don't I sell Viking drinks at Walmart. Roommates. And... A lot of people have asked me the question, Phil, how on earth could you get engaged to someone? Oh, God. And then within a month, break up with them. Oh, how God. How could you have gotten engaged in April? Because she got mad at me and you left. And, you Stupid. Know, the relationship in May. It what kind of, sense. like, honestly, matter, realistically, yeah, is this so really a question anybody had? The engagement was legit. But you know, a on an how wild is it actually to get Already engaged and break up before you get married? Before. Dude, people have fucking triplets and shit. Triplets with people and fucking break up. People have newborn ass kids and break up. Whatever. You just wanted to fucking talk. This is good too. Well, then let's just fucking do The very strong relationship. And it's this the same way? Him and Kat the same way. And that's why he buy a fucking Xboxes and shit. And that's why he watch her play games all day. Because he can't take her out anywhere. And they can't go out to eat every day. So he just buy a video games. And she just sit around and play games all day. Pandalee didn't want to sit around and play games all day. She wanted to go outside and spend money. And that's why they broke up. A wasted day. They didn't do anything significant or fun. Huh? And you hear him talk about his off days with a cat. They do insignificant and fun stuff every day when he tell us about what game she played. It was kind of like we were so stressed out about everything else, we just didn't care. Um, I wonder if she ever going to get bored of playing them games all day, though. Because if she do, uh, she's going to find somebody else to move in with. She's going to find somebody else to do hair tricks with. For my ex-girlfriend, almost a full year beforehand, all right? And the plans that we had made were that, gee, if things finally get financially stable, we wanted to go to California together. We wanted to do a mini vacation. It wasn't going to be like a long, expensive expense. The same stuff that him and Pandali wanted to do, and Pandali wanted to do this as much as he did or more, wink, these same things are the same things him and Kat want to do. And Kat wants to do them really badly, just as much as Pandali did. This dude's delusional. Maybe two or three days in California where we could go to like Universal Studios for a day or Disneyland for a day. Delusional. I would propose to her there, okay? And we're supposed to think that Cat want to do the same thing. That Cat want to go on a vacation to, to do the same thing. I mean, maybe. But it's probably something else she want to do. He gaslit and her and I want to do it. A fun, magical event that we would remember <laughs> for the rest of our lives. Honey, it would be, it would be really fun, yeah, right? Where we come back yeah, we I guess. Right away. <clears throat> because of all the stressful financial stuff going on back home but at least we're engaged and we could be happy that one day we're going to get married and then it was kind of like well time passed so the engagement didn't happened. work because they didn't get no, engaged at more stressful universal now we're not studios going too good together or something you know, to the point where it was disney like, world just sitting here and it's like when's it gonna happen i don't know you know and i didn't just want and it, it, one day i remember we just kind of sat down we were laying in bed together and we looked at each other and i'm bored she said that you want to get engaged she just yeah how much likes you think we're gonna get we're gonna find a perfect time i don't know maybe a couple of hundred all right let's do it constant stress you don't know if we're gonna be able to pay the bills we're never, probably never gonna be able to go to california just give me the ring yeah i don't think she said all of that all right so i did you know and it really was completely <laughs> unromantic and he adds so much words to everything i don't believe him when he talk whatever. about anything and, poor dsp uh, you know, that's what I mean. Like, it really wasn't legitimately, it didn't seem like it was. Pandalee like, should have recorded the conversation and I would believe it. So falling apart. Like, you really think, come on, come on.
It's literally his ex. He's literally dating a new lady at this point. Why would he be truthful about what she's saying? He's DSP. He's dishonest about what everybody say. Even people that currently suck his dick. So if somebody used to suck his dick, why the fuck would he tell the truth about what they said? And a real, if a it real, might make him look bad or look sus. Honestly, what it felt like was... It don't even matter what Pandalee um, said, because DSP telling us she said it. Just Like I said, a band-aid. This... Things were already falling apart. Quick, let's get engaged and maybe things will magically become better. Well, did he say that or no did she say it? We had like one or two days that were better. And then what did they do? Back to normal where I was worried about financially. Would I be able to pay everything? She and it's about money. Kind of more money made them break up. Very life. nice. She was real focused on her job at that point. Money. She wanted to get promoted to her job. Money. And maybe go full time. In which case, if she's working full time and I'm working full time, now we're not even going to see each other. Either. He pretends that he wants Kat to work full time. And you know, you know something. He's doing a whole that lady back from working full time. I think. I think. He's suspiciously doing something. Or he's telling us something. But he don't want Kat to work full time. Even less. When Panda Lee wanted to work full time, look at what happened to her. Right. And so behind the scenes, things just kept falling apart. Falling working full time became an actual bad thing. Now, I'm not going to tell you the full story because there's a lot of other stuff that happened too. But basically, by late April... Pandalee wasn't even supposed to get a job when she moved right. in with him, though. In three weeks she was going to just hang out forever, I guess. Had just, you know, blown up to the point where we weren't getting along anymore. I, I was working, and we would have a meet, like, we would eat dinner together. Working. And then we wouldn't even see, like, I would work again. And work again. See you see how he's talking sleep. about this? She had to work early he would morning. work, and then he would work again. And then he'd say she would work. Both of those are way two different types of working, dude. They're just way too different to even say in the same context like this. I would be up at night watching stuff myself. Watching we stuff. Time. Was like we were watching stuff. We were avoiding each other. I was up, our schedules didn't even coincide anymore. So it really watching was stuff. Really sharing a house rather than a, you know a couple, an engaged couple. Um, um dude, I'm working. We had a big blow up around the end of April. A big blow up, um, to the point where it was kind of agreed upon that that was it, that it was over. But we knew exactly what would happen. Him working is him yelling at a game, and her working is going somewhere to get yelled at, yelled at by a customer. What would more negativity. It's the same thing, more man. Snoops in our lives, more people trying to fuck with us and find private information and be just fucking nasty to us in general. So we kind of decided together we're not going to tell anyone. We're just going to pretend like we're still together. All right. Until a time. Yeah, Pandalee didn't pretend like anything. She basically didn't exist he, online at this point. The, the truth of the matter was, I didn't tell you guys that I. He didn't tell us anything. Pandalee didn't like, have any way to tell us or not tell us anything. She, she basically was a ghost. So she had been gone for a while, and I was doing stuff by myself, and it was funny. This truly only benefited him, and he talked about it like she was on it, doing in it, and on it with him. I don't know. It's right. fucking weird. Um, I was doing Twitch and Chill stream. Remember the Twitch and Chill events that I had been doing? What if I didn't remember them? And will you explain while I was them? doing the Twitch and Chill stuff, no. people were being trolls. They were coming in and saying, haha, Leanna, and this and that. And he didn't and get mad was, about it because they already had them broken up, right? So for me, honestly, yeah, that's, it wasn't even stinging. Yeah, at all sure, dude, like, whatever. My ex, who I haven't talked to, you know, I don't have that relationship with anymore. But people didn't know that. So people were coming in purposely. What a to good person. And had no effect even if this is already, truly the case, why I even bother to admit this? Well, I was already broke up with that bitch, so I didn't care about people being mean to her. He should get a so, panda lee emote then. He should get a panda yeah, lee emote and put some fucking hot dogs on her face or something. Just so he don't care so about making fun of her. Did because behind the, it was funny. It was like when things were going bad with the with with everything else, the relationship falls apart. And then things started to go good with business. Like I showed, told you guys, the streams were picking up. People were being positive again. People, there was growth on Twitch. And here I am trying to show a happy face every day. Ha, wow. that was so much fun. That didn't know, happen either. Twitch, this did not happen. Behind the scenes, everything was going wrong or had gone wrong. It's no fake um, happy DSP basically anywhere you know, at any point in time. Put a lot more He's always negative or mad or toxic. The way that my life was, was I wake up. I spend some time with my ex-girlfriend. Even when he's whatever. yelling Merry Christmas 15 my times a second, he's still done, somehow being annoying or negative. Or whatever. A it's like if actually the Grinch to told you Merry Christmas. Because of her income was contributing to the, the house. Hey, shared and income. Everything. And he's like digging, sniffing. And then when, she, when we broke up, less, less money... No money first me cooking no, second giant, no moral support what a relationship and then me getting my dick my sucked own. is third i i didn't get my dick sucked again, she didn't cook for me and i didn't take her money wrong, he's like sauce walker he was breaking a bitch and have someone physically <laughs> be there for you 
this piece of pimp. No. no. completely went away from me. And it was devastating. But I couldn't Bruh. tell anyone. Because if I did, I knew the negativity that would explode on the internet. Um, you got to cook dinner tonight, honey? <clears throat> How much money you so, got, honey? How much you got to pay this all month? All that happens. And remember, during the months of April, May, June, my streams are going good. People are coming out for my streams and really enjoying the streams and everything. People like right? Vidar and Tut? Um, and, How many you know, suspicious people are you talking about when you say this? Scenes, my life is a mess. I'm alone. I'll be honest, guys. I, I was drinking. drinking you not, you shouldn't do. Especially when you're depressed. depressed. But I did. I started. Uh, uh, way, uh, you know, way more than a person should. At night, I was getting drunk every night. I was having some issues. How much should a person day. drink? What are these fucking stupid ass weird statements? I was drinking more than a person should. How much doctors tell you to drink? It was another major thing. Really, the only people who knew about it were my parents. Um. Did they not tell him anything? Well, what are they going to do? They live on the other side of the country. It's not well, why like did you tell him? For any kind of support besides just telling me, you know, we're sorry that what happened or whatever. And we're, you know, we're going to stick, stick up. What? Basically, just keep plugging forward. And we're going to stick up for you. you know, um, as much as a parent could. Um, so all that happened. Yeah, one glass of wine a day. That's what a doctor recommends. You guys remember. That's probably you know, true. Basically, what ended up happening was Leanna was doing very little stuff on the internet or what she did was kind of stuff to mask the fact that we had broken up. And all of a sudden she started posting pictures from like her new place, a cat that lived with her and stuff like that. And people were like, Phil doesn't have a cat. What is this a picture? You know what I mean? Now keep in mind, this was months after. Oh, by the way, the one thing that I forgot to mention, all right? The one thing I forgot to mention was when my ex-girlfriend had a you know, a situation at work where she had a panic attack and I had to leave a stream and rush to the hospital, all right? That had happened. We had already broken up and she was already in the process of moving out of the house and everything when that happened. Does that right? make it better or worse? And so for me... Again, he just like, looked like an actual bad person. Said, yeah, we was broken up anyway, so it don't matter that oh, I talked no, about I this. We were broken up anyway, so it's okay that you made fun of her in my chat. And I told people what happened. And some people took that the wrong way. Oh my God, Phil's telling. What's the right way to take this? Private business. How should we have taken it by falling asleep? Um, at that point, that's what I did. There was already already so much fucked up stuff. I don't. I'm not gonna get into it because there's some real fucked up stuff that happened between me and her. Wow. That day. What a worthwhile that thing really to say. Gotten to me. All right. And basically, did he shoot her? Very hurtful things that had happened to me. This could mean so and many things. Right oh, mindset. to me, no, something no, happened to him. In retrospect. Should I have he was emotionally that upset off the hitter. Told everyone, oh, the reason maybe that I had maybe he did. Who knows? Earlier, he didn't want to tell us. Was because you know my girlfriend. Had maybe she hit him and had to be rushed to the hospital, and then she I hit him and spit on him or whatever. No, probably maybe. I shouldn't have done that. Who knows, man? At the same time, you guys didn't know she wasn't my girlfriend anymore. You know <laughs> and then she I mean? sent and dick pictures from Tyrone. So she forwarded oh, dick pictures. My girlfriend. In reality, she wasn't. This was actually someone who... She was a random was person. Really the day after they broke up, she yeah. started being a random person again. <laughs> the the day they broke up. And everything at that point. The day they like, broke up. Stuff that happened between us recently that I was not in a good Can she die? If she dies, would DSP care? I guess not. Let's fucking go. This is excellent. I didn't. We broke up a long time ago. Why are people telling me that Leanna died? Uh, but apparently she had told the people at work that she wanted me to go to the hospital to get her. I don't know the full uh, story. You don't, I don't know, know no. The, full story. Uh, the bottom line is, I went to the hospital and basically she was like, yeah, you're here, whatever. Uh, Should have left it, uh, You know, okay, take me home. What and was home? It, and then she was gone. Within another couple of days, she had completely moved out. Oh, where you was home. So it's funny because... You know, people are so mad at me. And, oh, did we didn't break did up because of the hospital incident. We were cat. already we broken up, but she about. just happened to move That's out a couple of days after the hospital in incident. Book. In reality, that is his point. Case. That's reality, his point. I was in the wrong mindset. Because but what if mindset. what if she would have been willing to get back with him before the hospital incident? She literally was still living with him and she moved out a couple of days after that. So what if he didn't do that? She might have stayed with him. Come on, man. He's not this fucking stupid. He just wants us to tell us. To, he wants us to tell him this so he can get mad about it. Breakup had already happened. It's so and lame. She was already on the way out the door. She was out the yeah, door. She no, literally no, was she living with you still. Said that publicly. And you let her use your car every day. On the internet. How was she oh, out look, the door? So already, she had told the world too, so it wasn't like. And she didn't tell anybody. She no, posted a fucking picture. All that going on behind the scenes. And she posted the picture after he talked about it. Going good, right? So now he talked about it first, and she posted a picture online saying, "I'm alive, I'm all right." And he was like, "Well, she talked about it too." 
think I'm making more I money. I you did. Right? Twitch is actually growing every month. I'm making more money on Twitch, which is good. People are fly goes fly. Active streams. People are liking the way I'm covering everything. April, May, June. She told the summer. world. It was but a tweet, dude. My whole person. How many people fucking Colorado followed Panda I, Lee? You know, like 3,000 people. I don't have any in-person friends out here. In Telling the world. The person who I she didn't even upload a video with, about it. We had a major falling out, broken up with. <clears throat> Not on good terms with moved out in a huff, basically. And that's why a lot of people are saying, oh, Phil, why don't you rent out your extra room? That room is still full of her oh, shit. Oh, I remember that. Which she's never coming that back That weird from. argument. Left here rent out the extra room. Only the stuff Imagine DSP wants. doing right. something like that. Um, and left a bunch of junk for me. And uh, that room. And he came up with excuses for so long. Dance, and then by the time those excuses went away, guess who? Cat moved in. Lying around. I'm not talking. Because oh, Cat needs a separate bedroom. She needs an office. It's junk. It's stuff she I agree. tried to make and it failed. Okay, he's trying way too hard now. That I'm allowed to fill an empty He's trying way too hard. Things got real bad. Can I rent the room? Yeah, I can't. I'm not even in a situation where I can even clean up that room and and, and do anything with it. Um, that's that's how bad it is. She, she I'm too is. busy to do anything. When it comes to being green and everything, it's ridiculous. Right? And he blames the state um, that he wanted to move so to. So here I am. I'm busting my ass every day on stream trying to is do entertaining he? stuff for you guys. Um, and I am. How many games he learned in 2017? On, on Twitch is going up and Revenue up. again. The Revenue scenes, and views and money. Apart, all he talked about. And I can't really. And how that lady that cooked and cleaned moved out, and she paid some of the I'm bills. Here working my ass off. So bills, another thing about money. Aware of what was going on behind the scenes, right? <clears throat> That's how it is sometimes, right, man. Well, folks, I've now talked for an hour straight. By the way, let me do a couple shout outs. Shout out to High Tech Specs, who did a 300 bit cheer. Whoa. Two of my Christmas Day IRL. Uh, event. What I'm doing is basically recapping the events of 20. If she does move in with you, exactly make sure she feels more important in the stream. Year of my Four years later. Um, I don't know what this even would mean. I thank you to those who have cheered, subbed, and tipped. <laughs> and is, is she more important in the stream? 22 subscribers, the most I've ever had on my Twitch channel, a record right now. So. Thank you very I don't much, know. guys, for your support. She's a Seriously, person and not a fucking account, Seriously, stupid. Wow. She's a human. Um, a couple quick shout outs to do. <clears throat> in order to before we continue here yolo dopper did a 10 bit cheer and he says do you think that the trolls had a bigger effect on your relationship or was it the financial situation dude you heard him talk about this during this By stream way, be on hot. the trolls caused the financial situation like when i moved out so it's the trolls fault that he broke up with his girlfriend because financials caused him to break up with his girlfriend and trolls called his financials to get bad so it's the trolls fault he broke up with his last girlfriend because she was a fucking gold digger and she wasn't even good enough she wasn't even good enough to be a real gold digger. And she was going Whatever a real gold digger is, apparently isn't that. And she wasn't that. Maybe she just wanted to have fun. Well, we ended up she was a fun digger. As we talked more, is that we pretty much had a ton in common. Um, That's why Cat got an Xbox Series S because she just wanted to have a lot of fun. We had both been through a lot. Um, Same thing happened with Panda Lee too, with her buying game systems and shit. She got a PS4 back in the day. She was bragging and saying she got it with her own money because she was making money selling soap. And I'm trying to figure out how I can tell you guys again. DSP is really, really uh, fun. So all of his girlfriends got to play video games all day. And then not record it, upload it to YouTube because they're so fucking boring. Nobody wants to watch them do it. DSP didn't even watch Panda Lee play games. Me finally getting to spend some time. Oh, well. uh, with this this woman and uh you know after spending personal time with the woman having an amazing the time, woman realizing we really clicked the woman and this woman long in person um to the point where now and for uh, i'd say probably for the past four or five months we're constantly talking um we're constantly in contact supporting each other um you know she has done things for me and said things to me that no one else ever has before i really feel I, i'll be honest with you you know, not to say a five-year relationship is nothing. She's my soulmate. Out of anyone I've ever been with in my life, dated, I feel like we're soulmates. Now, some of you may not understand that if you've never been in that Then situation. he has to just immediately um, put all of us down. Maybe you haven't had a soulmate. You might not know what this means. Going on Dude, what? You play games every day. You know, we're tough. Aren't you a gamer? Right away, especially, you know, when we're not together. Like I said, this morning, the first thing I did when I woke up... What an was, odd discussion to get from a gamer like man, DSP. The soulmate talk. He's going to tell really us about the birds and the bees. feels different than any other relationship I've ever been in. It feels to me like she gets It's a good me. thing this didn't awkwardly blow up in his her. face. You know what I mean? 
Rather yeah. Than, oh, it's just someone I like. Because this is really weird, and he was only like talking to this lady for a few months, sword. and it's like such an unneeded That's thing. Like I nobody feel, asked. I think about her. All right. And you know, it's funny because some people have said this year. Um, <clears throat> some people have said this year uh, that you know, wow. Phil broke up with his ex-girlfriend of five years and immediately didn't you just into a go relationship what? and now he's rushing in. You just talked about, about this, a, a, this girl on the last and video, didn't he? How ridiculous. It's obvious. The truth of the matter here, folks, again, all right, so we're talking, there was a good two, three months. Okay, so he was single for two or three months. Wow, she's not a rebound because I was single for two or three months. Not talking to anybody. Okay. Who was a stream regular. It's like a high schooler. That was when he started watching. You know, and a lot of people were like that, and now they're become big. Fans. I wasn't viewers. talking was to anybody. Awesome. The summertime clarity, and that was a really cool time for me. It was also just time skipping when sips at this point. More false copyright strikes, right? It wasn't bad enough that being swatted, DDoS attack, false copyright strikes, destroying my YouTube channels in 2010, my whole five year relationship falling apart and breaking apart because of troll activities and all the stress that caused by it over the years. That wasn't enough. Phil's still here. We gotta, we gotta get him again. More false copyright strikes. It wasn't enough that something happened to me in 2010. Something else happened to me in 2017. It's a seven-year difference. We know who you are. We know what you've been through. Under no and it's literally you like different everything. I don't even know what he's mad, mad about. And we determined Basically, he don't want anything to happen, happen to him said, because something happened to him a long time ago. Maybe because of, they know who I am and the shit that I've been through. They're not going to just drop me like a hot rock that if they. See yeah, all of this stuff strike, was incorrect. Whatever he's content. talking about, he got dropped by him. It's not quality content. It's mostly all negative drama shit for the sake of being like a little high school girl and creating gossip. To he acted like a high school girl shit. talking about his fucking soulmate. Be honest. <clears throat> I wasn't talking to anybody, I promise. And then I met this girl and she was so fucking interesting. Maybe she was more interesting because you wasn't talking to anybody before. Maybe you should have talked to a couple of random ladies first. Nick did a dollar tip. Thank you, Nick. Is there a story behind cryptic tweets with one or two letters in a picture? Maybe one day I'll reveal it, but right now I'm not going to. It was just him being drunk and he didn't delete it. He could have just deleted it. Cryptic tweet, it ain't that deep. It could be. Um... You know what? You hold on a second. People are seeing any pop-ups whatsoever. You're right. It's not working. Shit. Yeah. Remember when that thousand dollar pop-up didn't work? Okay, hold on. An a hour and minutes. twenty minutes. This is on I'm part one. Their shout outs, but I think part one. Ten minutes in, in the, the pop-up pop didn't work. Um we twenty minutes on a part two and he realized they don't work. The thousand dollar donation didn't even get a notification, dude. Thousand dollar so donation. Didn't get a notification. So Never got know. one. This, this Did you see a pop-up? Like, I wonder who that dude was. More traffic, <clears throat> and we feel that it's okay. It's People don't give uh, contributions to get attention, man. And I say, that would be stupid. Well, Nobody does that ever. You know, basically, you're, especially you're in exactly DSP's audience. All right, now this All right. is about. I, I believe I can't remember. I need to just give up at this point. He's just literally you talking about when he was a victim, network. and it was something about networks and money. Since this dude talk about networks and money days, like every three days. Girlfriend. So fuck that. The ad revenue plummeting you know, that I've had in my whole life. It's, it's so much shit going on. If anything, I just hope that 2018 can be more positive, okay? All right, How everyone. much more positive does this year so need to be? Some shout outs, first of all. Let's do some shout You met your soulmate in 2017 and made a bunch of money in 2017. Was that not good enough? Shark, who did nah, he needed some more. Are you not worried about rushing into a You have some more positivity. Trouble. We love you, man, so we wouldn't want another incident like before. First of what all, what an adult question. Who are you, as grandma? A five-year relationship that was ruined by trolls. Wait. Remember when that dude... No, 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 no. 104.53. Um, situation. Like, when I moved out... By the way, I'm going to be... Um, a couple quick shout-outs to do. <clears throat> in order to... Before we continue here. Oh, my God, dude. Double Come on. All right. Do you think that the trolls had a bigger effect on your relationship, or was it the financial situation? Honestly, Let's see what he say initially. Okay, like both. It's the, same. The, it's the same. It's the same. Now taxes that I owe. The same. Because of fucking things that people have done to me, you know. Um. <clears throat> so. <sighs> Whatever, man. It's the same. Uh, 
Mass Effect 2 doing a, a negative. Uh, I wasn't at 104, was I? Maybe I was. Okay, I was. Two. Okay, what a year. We had high highs with you guys on the and not constantly be worrying about now taxes that I uh oh, really my God. for me. Because those are games that I grew up with that I have a lot of knowledge of no. well in an online situation. And maybe people will come to watch me play them, right? And I could do tutorial videos about them and stuff. Yeah, whatever it is, didn't happen, huh? Possible, but I have to get, you know what I mean? I have to survive. I have to survive because of fucking things that people have done. Sky isn't falling, but I'm using oh. words like this. I gotta <clears throat> survive. Do so, you have cancer? Thank you guys for listening. That was my 2017. Holy shit. What a year. We had high highs with streaming getting better and better a new relationship that i'm in but low lows with the amount of trolling we had high highs plugging, like his new relationship i, relationship I agree in, excessive amount of trolling and then a low is one relationship ending like you want to have two girlfriends um, year, by far like i said the most tumultuous year that i've had in my whole life it's whatever so man i get it but holy fuck can crazy. you just not be a victim for once Positive. okay all right everyone so much time for some shout Does he know what Silver Lining is? Apparently not. Two. It's like, oh, man, I lost sure. this job and I lost this stupid fucking dumbass bitch of a girlfriend that had no fucking worth at all. But I got a better job and I found my soulmate. Okay, so why are you mad that you lost those other two things that you didn't even like that much anyway? Am I missing something? You just want everything? You truly want everything, don't you, DSP? You want everything. Right. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else out there, welcome. Everything. He wants everything. He deserves everything. This stream should have ended, and I will go. It started way too late, and it lasted too long, like always. Oh, well. I might stream on YouTube early, quote-unquote, in the day tomorrow, or later today. And I'm going to stream on Twitch and do something stupid tonight. And maybe I could think of something else to watch as far as uh, Christmas stuff. Oh, God, I still have to finish watching Anne Boleyn videos, too. I'm going to assume she finished Vlogmas. Wait. Oh, yeah, he didn't stream today. Well, or yesterday. <laughs> Four. And, okay, a really oh, short video. I guess he didn't have to ask for money. Saturday, the and he didn't have to complain. Four minutes and 29 seconds long. And the audio is fucking stupid. Just can't even fucking hear him. Uh, Talked about the drinks I had, which were my favorites and not so favorites. Talked about the games I played, which were my favorites and not so favorites. Um, and as we were doing that, an unprecedented level of support was rallied. That wasn't unprecedented. He supported the stream, and ladies and gentlemen, he straight up said, "We need a hundred members to hit the goal, and if we don't get them before the end of today, we won't hit the goal." I mean, damn! When you do that, is it unprecedented to get a hundred members? He didn't even get a hundred and one. He got fifty from one dude and fifty from another. It's like, how fucking uninterested can a community even be? But it is what it is. There's still a lot of support, dude. It's still pretty chill. But don't fucking bullshit people about it. You literally asked for it. Unprecedented. I didn't even want this, man. You guys fucking forced it on me. You were just being so fucking nice. You were being so nice to me, man. You guys were overwhelmingly supportive. I couldn't believe it. Tips, super chats, memberships likes everything he sounds so uh when he's talking like this man it's like an only fan streamer or something oh uh, fucking fucking e-girl a suspicious e-girl like he's actually taking his clothes off but he's charging to put them on oh my god you guys are so supportive bro why are you torturing me like this why are you so fucking cringe <laughs> and people gotta email him on how to play a wrestling game it went really well, but the matches went fast. Most of them were about 10 minutes long. So we were actually Thank you, Lady Charisma. Christmas tournament in 90 minutes. So people urged me, hey, can you do a battle royale, you know, a Royal Rumble match like you did earlier in the year many times for Halloween and other day, other events? I said, yes. And we did a Christmas Royal Rumble match. That took he said he couldn't minutes. do that. It was epic. Probably because I listened to the pre-stream. One of the best, if not the best I've ever done. We don't have time to do that. I can't do a Royal Rumble, you guys. Okay. We did a Royal Rumble because you wanted me to. So I went ahead and did about a 45-minute 
just talking with the audience, kind of Q and A wow. special. People were again Q and A Christmas special I, I on Christmas Eve. Blew me away. All right. So thank you all. If you attended either yesterday's Christmas support, blew them away. Special Christmas Sims. Okay. Blew them away, man. Everything was fucking so much this, fucking support. I'm uploading them literally right now. These are really good. They're no, they're not. They're Stop trying, man. You, you got money for it already. How much fucking attention you want? Quite the opposite. It's no, it wasn't. Stop. Who likes Christmas and silliness. It's no. Serious wrestling. Okay. What is serious Here wrestling? Look. Those will be live shortly here on DSP Gaming. All right. John Cena versus fucking it. RVD. I'm not here tonight. No second stream. I'm not here tomorrow. It's my one full day off a year where I just get to relax. The thirstiest fucking streamer. Turn on Monday and I'm literally thirsty and metaphorically thirsty. Everything I did tonight and tomorrow. Please watch it. It's different, man. If you fucking hate wrestling, still watch it. If you like Christmas, you will like this, man. I promise. If you're a living human and you have intelligence, you will like it, man. I'm, I'm serious, dude. It's so fucking interesting. It's so good. Way better than anything else I ever done, man. If you didn't like the last wrestling event, you will love this one. And if you love the last one, you will greatly enjoy this one. You'll be thoroughly tickled. It's going to be so fucking chill. Thank you all for Oh, no. I'm not going to be here tonight and tomorrow for this time. I need to have my family. Some relaxing time is very much warranted. Why can't you take the day after Christmas off? Everyone, no matter what you celebrate, Christmas, you know. I pointed this out in the beginning of the stream, and I'm mad that I realized it. This fucking dude advertised the Christmas like it was his birthday for like 30 something fucking days and he don't even actually stream on the actual day of christmas because he got to spend time with his family did he advertise christmas to cat for 30 fucking days because he tortured us tortured us with christmas promotion and then he do the most boring event he could think of on christmas eve no one even fucking restreamed it so when i woke up i ain't have shit to even fucking waste time listening to and he don't even stream on christmas at all because he needs to spend time with his family. I agree, man. What's he going to say for his birthday when he stream every day to like milk it? Because he don't want to spend time with his family on his birthday. And you would think it would be more important than Christmas. I don't know, man. He's a Catholic, too. Is Cat Catholic? Does Cat care about Christmas? Or we just pretend? I think we pretend that Cat like everything DSP like because it's his soulmate. I don't know. It's too much to think about. I'm going to force you to think about it because I'm done streaming. It was a very chill time and we learned nothing. But this was the obligatory Christmas stream. And if I want an extra coat, I can say my Christmas stream already happened on Twitch because I streamed at like 4 a.m. to put ornaments on my tree. So we lost. Yeah, it's all right. It's going to happen anyway. Holy shit. Swollen Ding is streaming. I don't know what these songs are. Top 100 Christmas. Something, something, something. And they all sound like weird covers. And like VTubers singing the songs. Everything broke. Okay. Thank you, Smooth Cola Pepper, for the resub. 16 months with Twitch Prime. Guys, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get a free sub on my Twitch channel. If you link your Amazon Prime and your Twitch account, and you will get amazing emotes that you can use in any chat at any time. Pretty cool, dude. Dude, this song is lame. I'm supposed to like it, I guess. It is a top 100 Christmas song. Also, big ups to the cards, don't lie. They sent $50 uh, through Extra Life 11 hours ago. I wouldn't even stream it. Now. And uh, thanks to. The End of Thoughts, Shibun, uh, Juan Do, Anonymous, Gamer, D Trash Man, for the 420, uh, Zan Man for the dollar 20, Scumbag, Josh for the 420, Bunny for the triple six, and JB the Behemoth, Behemoth for the 669.
And thanks to the people that showed up and lurked and stalked, or otherwise. You'll thankfully be able to watch this supremely exciting stream on Rewind Time. I, I know I can't wait to watch it again. So I'll be sometimes. Navidad